Good morning. Happy Friday. Hello, everybody. <laughs> Welcome. Yay. To Hello, We've everybody. got quite a few over here. Yes. So Amber and I have decided to do this in a two-part video. Um, yep. Because it's not a quick bag. Exactly. Um, and then if you guys wanted to sew and catch up with us, you could do a little sew along with us. Exactly. That'll be great. And I just wanted to do some, some notes on this pattern. I would not rate this a beginner pattern. I would say it's more of an in intermediate and your, your materials matter. So you don't want to do super thick vinyl. I would not recommend even with a, an industrial. So I'm going to be doing um, a waterproof canvas interface with Decaville light today and some foam mushed in there. Mm -hmm. So that's just um, tips for success. And it's not like if you're doing it on a domestic, then you really need to keep it light, right? Yeah. And it's just the front bubble part that it gets a little squirrely. Okay. <laughs> Oh. Well, I'm doing vinyl and Decaville light with foam in between the middle too. So hopefully my vinyl isn't too thick. I, I, okay. So I'm going to show you two examples. This was the first one I ever made. It's just, um, it has fleece and the vinyl. Okay. And you can see it's kind of floppier. I, I don't like this way. Yeah. Personally, but some people do. So, and I think I have Decaville light on the bottom here but you can see it's just more of a softer bag yeah um, i've made this to where it can be you know like a backpack or a crossbody or a shoulder bag but this was the very first one Cute. second one i love really structured bags so i was like oh i'm going totally structured okay <laughs> this this is where i ran into trouble up here these seams right here okay so like this is like this could knock somebody out it's that it's, it's a purse and a weapon at this point. So it's a um, weapon. <laughs> yeah, but I like it better. I added a little zipper pocket on the back this time, so we'll do that next I like Friday. That. Yeah, that was nice. Um, mm -hmm. and um, it's much more structured now. It's probably too structured because my pocket's a little hard to get in here. Okay, so there's that. And you did you did vinyl and Decaville light on that one? Vinyl, Decaville light, and foam. And foam. But this is the um, textured vinyl from Fabric mm -hmm. Therapy. Mm -hmm. So it's not the thinnest. Okay. It's not super thick, but it's just something to be mindful of. It's really this front bubble part. So if you make this, make this like a thinner canvas or a waterproof canvas. I think the designer, she uses a... Um, it looks a like canvas on hers. Yeah, she uses like... It's like their version of waterproof canvas, kind of. And um, she puts... Decaville Light, her equivalent, and she has a domestic. So there you go. Okay. Just, just some notes, okay? Okay. And then Amber and I are doing, Amber's pretty much going to teach me. I have never sewn this before. She's got all of her little notes. I'm just going to do whatever she tells me to do. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and we're doing a couple of different mods. Instead of the flap uh, slip pocket on the front, I am just going to turn it into a zipper pocket. I'm so excited to see this. I hope it works out. <laughs> I haven't tried this yet. Um, hopefully what I cut works, and I'll kind of explain to you what I did. And then Amber's going to be adding a, the zipper pocket on the back of her bag, right? Yeah. And I'm doing today a scalloped trim. Um, of course you are. So I know, cool. my little scallop trim. So if you guys are interested in like an SVG of this, I can whip one up. Just let me know and put it on my website. Awesome. Okay. And it is a bound bag. You need binding. Uh, Amber's using the adhesive fold over from Fabric Therapy. Yep. And I'm just using a uh, fold over elastic, which I love. Um, I just got eight new colors on my website. So if you're curious, yeah. go check that out. Yeah. And they all match my threads. So. Oh, I love a matchy girl. I know. I'm like, let's match this up. All right. So should we, so you're going to be working on your front flap slip pocket. I'm going to be working on my zipper pocket. 
Do you want to go over what materials you're using? Yep. Okay. Okay. So I am using um, my outside of all of my bag is going to be this vinyl. It's the Lux vinyl from Warmino. I had it hidden far away in my stash and I found it last night. It's a good <laughs> color. And so I have it all Decaville light out of my seam allowances. Hopefully it's not too heavy for me. So this was the front flap piece of the bag. And all I did was cut off the rounded part off the bottom. Okay. Okay. And so it. this is the bottom piece of the, the pocket and I left it normal. I'm going to put a zipper in between that and some zipper tabs on. Oh, I love that. That sounds and so simple. Okay. Hopefully it's simple. And so here are my, you know, I'm using just canvas for my lining. So here are my two pieces to go behind that. And then I have the one big lining piece to enclose it all with. So, cause it needs to be an enclosed zipper pocket. Right. Because then we're putting another pocket behind it. Yes. Works up here. So hopefully that works. I think it will. So instead of this part, Kasai is just making it a zipper for this access yep. for the pocket. Cause it's not so, real deep this front. So it'll just be a nice zipper pocket right there. But then we're still gonna do these side zippers and it's a big pocket behind it. See this pocket? It goes yep. all the way through really cool it's a pretty big domed area for sure so i have my zipper tab they're just one and a half by one and a half i'm gonna put that on my zipper and i did my zipper uh six and three fourths inches long so hopefully that works and yeah we'll see if i can make this zipper pocket work <laughs> you got this i believe in you okay um okay. and then Explain what you're doing, Amber. Okay. I am, I'm just trying to prep a little bit so you all don't have to see me do too much. Okay. So for mine, I'm going to use waterproof canvas. This is from My Little Shindig. It's the Swifty line. I oh. have never tried their waterproof canvas and it's very silky. Oh. Very silky. I was surprised. I don't know if I've ever gotten stuff from My Little Shindig. Oh my gosh. I just saw this print and I'm like, um, yeah, that's definitely going to come in my cart. <laughs> So I have that. My inter is just um, the Kira Pink waterproof, water resistant canvas from Mormino because that matched. Yep. And then my zipper gusset and all the bottoms and accents are going to be, it's this, it's also Lux vinyl from Mormino. I don't know the color. Let me see. I say this. Oh, I think I have that color too. I almost used that one. That's funny. Powder rose. It looks yep. kind of like gray, but it's actually like purple. Got a purple tint to it, right? Yeah. Yeah. So it's really cute. That's what I'm gonna do. And I just have black zipper tape, you know, black zipper tape. I'm gonna use this really cool. I love this stuff. Have you tried it yet? The handmade webbing? I haven't. Oh my gosh, you guys. Do you love it? Luxurious. It is so soft and where it's do you like get that? This is from Emporium Threads. Okay, so Ray got it. Yeah, and literally she has so many colors. Huh. Like, I have a pink one, it's gorgeous. Oh man. Okay. My strap. Try that. So if you wanna do a strap, how I'm gonna do a strap, you're gonna need a 73 inch piece of webbing. Oh wait, are you using one and a half inch webbing? I am. Okay, I'm gonna have to change mine. But are you doing one inch on the handle? Yeah. Okay, I, did, I'm doing I have one this one. for my handle, but maybe I'll change what I'm going to use. Yeah, I just like to okay. do, I like that it's one strap and I can kind of like, I can fold it kind of in a slip knot up here on the top D ring, little rectangle ring, and then connect. Oh, it's so like you're, a doing double. Up, you're doing it a little bit differently. Yeah. Okay. I like that because I was like, I don't. I don't want two straps. I'm never going to no. two straps. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm too lazy for all that. So. I, I was kind of like, ooh, I have to make two straps. So I'm going to do what no. you're doing. I'll just change uh, what I'm going to use then. It's so literally it's, two, oh it's two strap adjusters, two swivels, two swivels, uh -huh. and 73, in I did 73 inch. And that 73. way you can make it backpack. Or if you tighten it all the way up, you can do cross body or shoulder. Okay. And then you'd use a rectangle ring on the back of your bag instead of a D ring. 
Yeah. This okay. Is, this is what I'm doing. I do these like little ones on the bottom because these are just going to be where they clip. Yeah. Flat, right. Mm -hmm. And then I have a one and a half on the top. Okay. I'm going to have to do that. I'll have yeah. to grab uh, some different hardware. Okay. Uh, we'll go through the sizes and stuff when I get there, but I just, it's easiest for me. And then, you know, I did still do the, the D rings on the side. I'm, I'm going to show you how to move them up a little bit though, because my first bag, I just felt like they're too low. And too if low. I put my phone in here, this yeah. is going to hit it and spring it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So. Perfect. I got all that. All right. I'll have to go grab a couple of things then when we get to that point. Okay. Okay. Hello, everybody. Sorry, I haven't been saying hi, individual. I see you all here. Thank you for joining. Hopefully, this is fun. I'm excited. I was like, Amber, I want to sew a bag with you. Let's do it. We're doing it. <laughs> hi, Susan. My sister's on here. I Susan, told her she needed to, to my house. Yeah, I told her that. I said, you need to go to Amber's house. Come, please, come. We're flying out tomorrow morning. Okay. To go to Wonderground in California. So she's, you know. Maybe in May. Just Yeah. Yeah. For I'm sure I'll come visit her this summer, too. And we could maybe schedule something. Yeah. That's going to be fun at Wonderground. I know. I'm so excited. I'm excited to see your, are you going to do a video? Or are you going to do stories at least? Or yeah, something? I think, uh, I think we'll maybe either go live or do some video. Mm -hmm. uh, no. Yeah, I'm excited. Okay. So if I'm thinking of this right, I'm just going to put this together like a normal zipper pocket. Okay. Yeah. Um, my hands are shaking. My coffee was strong. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I didn't eat yet. So <laughs> My um, my little one Charlotte, they got to drink bring special it's special drink Friday or something like that. So of course she's bougie and wanted a Starbucks. Yeah. And then we had to get one for a teacher and a friend. I'm like, oh my gosh, we're raining. So so anyways, I got a cold brew, a chocolate chocolate cream cold brew. Have you ever had that? No, that sounds amazing. Ah, uh, best drink I've ever had. <laughs> best drink ever. Ever. But it must have been loaded with caffeine because I'm like, oh! <laughs> oh, I love sewing when I'm so um, lit on caffeine. I why it's so fun. Um, this thread, this webbing is from Emporium Thread. Someone had asked it. Um, oh, yeah. Here's the pink one. Look at the uh, pink one. Handmade. It's that just is gorgeous. So pretty. Annette, can you link that? Can you find it and link it or? She said she would, yep. Okay, awesome. Annette and Brittany and Leslie are awesome on here. Yes. Um, drink water. <laughs> yeah, I have I have my huge Stanley filled with water too. So I'll we're be, good besties. Yeah, I'll be pretty pretty hydrated. Okay, I'm gonna start with I'm doing the normal slip pocket way. So if you're doing that, you're gonna take your slip pocket it's right sides together and just sew with a 3 8 inch seam allowance. So I'm going to do that. Okay. And I'm just sandwiching my bottom with my zipper here. Ooh, my zipper length is almost perfect. I love it when that's like I don't I'm not even going to have to trim it down. That's crazy. Um that's a perfect zipper. Like, so my zipper was six and three fourths and my zipper tabs were one and a half by one and a half. It's perfect. Nice. And then, um, I am using my cotton candy swirl variegated thread for this bag. Mm -hmm. well, I think that's going to be cute. What color uh -huh. are you using for yours? I'm just using white this time, but I use the, um, is it pastel of paradise the lighter yes. one? Yes. Yes. I use that on this one. If it kind of look I don't know. That's pretty. It was, it was great. Yay. Yeah. Yeah, I don't even think I've used this uh the new variegated threads yet. I'm like I should probably use them. <laughs> yeah, they're good. I almost did it, but again, but I was like, oh, I'm just going to do white because I think it'll stand out cool on that light purple stuff. Yeah, the white will look good. 
with your vinyl for sure. All right, I'm gonna sew my two bottom lining and exterior together. Oh, let me turn my stuff down. You can. Oh, Is the view good for everybody? Are we hands up? Are we good? Okay, here's the interior. This is kind of hard to show. Let me get the other one. This one's like super um, structured. <laughs> but on this one, you can see I just do a slip pocket here. Does that make sense? It's pretty dang big. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's, it's. Is it the slip pocket pieces she has in the pattern? Um, or did you do a different slip pocket? No, I did different. Okay. I did different. Um, yeah. I just did. I did a nine by ten piece, and then I just oh. put it in the raw sides and put that trim on the top. Okay. Yeah. Okay. We'll we're gonna do the inside next time, so I'll make sure I'll put out a little thing on my Instagram of like my measurements. Okay, perfect. That'll work. Yeah. A good camera case. I think this would make an amazing camera case, to be honest with you. Oh, well, it's especially if you put the foam in there and it's nice and protective. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And for all you people that like the conceal and carry patterns, that front pocket is open. I know it's controversial, but I just want to throw that out there. You make it padded and that would be a good option as well. Yep. All right. I love the thread on this vinyl. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I bet. Oh my God. I can't. <laughs> it looks great. Do you okay. remember the color of that vinyl? The name of it? Uh, I have no idea. Yeah, me neither. Okay. It's really pretty though. I'm so bad at knowing what I buy. It's definitely right. like, a, it's a Kasaya color, you know? Yeah, it kind of is. I like it. I top stitched that. So this is my bottom done. I'm going to have to add my magnetic snaps, but I'm going to do it in a minute. Yeah. So that's her bottom. This is my bottom. And now work on the top. So for the, for the um, scalloped edge, I basically cut two pieces to the pattern piece. And then I cut, you know, you print and you cut along the dotted lines to do the interfacing. Uh-huh. And... I did Decaville light on both pieces, my interior and my exterior, okay? And then I just fold up this bottom edge around that Decaville light, okay? You cut a bunch of little triangles around the corner here and you fold it. If you've made one of those, um, what are they called? Saza, that classic Saza. zipper. Pop. Yeah, it's the same thing. I did the same thing down here, okay? Because it needs to be finished to put that scallop in yeah. between. Got yeah. it. So before I attach it, I'm going to put my magnetic snaps on um, before I sew all of them together. It just makes it easier. I don't have to slip my hand into there. Yeah. Okay. So Ooh, on my line. But that looks like you haven't done the scallop on this one before, have you? Yeah, I did it on this one. Oh, is you it scallop? Oh, my gosh. Glass. So you can't really see too much. I see but... it now. I wasn't looking for it last time. That's so cute. Yeah, I just did a little something on there. Are you selling that one or are you keeping that one? Um, I haven't decided, to be honest. <laughs> I'm not it's sure. hard sometimes. <laughs> yeah, it really is. It really is. But I'm like, I can't keep all this stuff. Like, I have so many bags made. I need to do... The problem is listing them. Yeah. It is kind of a pain. Yeah. Um, Annette listed the link. She says she thinks this is the sea foam metallic. I think that's correct, Annette. That sounds right. Amazing. The sea foam metallic. Yeah. All right. So I'm going to put my magnetic snap. I'm going to do, you could do one. You think it needs a snap? Can people leave off the snap because it's such a tight pocket? You know what? Let's hmm. freaking try it. Because I'm like, is that really oh, necessary? Really? Okay. It's hard to get into, right? Yeah, let's not do it. Let's, let's save the hardware. Because you're right. I don't think I do need it. Yeah. From the way I saw you trying to get into that, I'm like, I don't think it needs it. Nope. It doesn't. You're right. Okay. So I am putting on my top two pieces. Um, So they're just taped on. And now I'm going to sew them on and top stitch. And again, this is just my 
flap piece that comes with the pattern with just the curved part cut off. Right. So hopefully the other thing you could do is take this piece, really this lining back piece and cut this where you want the zipper pocket to. Yeah. And do it that way. I didn't realize that until after the fact. So <laughs> that's okay. Yeah. I just am peeling off my double stick tape and I'm going to put my trim on. I just have mine. Um, that's kind of why I like to make these gallop trims with the Lux vinyl. Any vinyl that looks okay on the other side. Yeah. And I don't mind if this is the other side. You could put two together in edge paint and all that. I'm not doing all that. And it works just fine. I just singe it with a lighter and I cut it out with the air racing marker because then you don't see your lines on the back. Uh -huh. So I'm going to have to try something with that scallop. That's so cool. It's cute. fun. It's fun. I'm, every bag I make now, I'm like, mm, let's have scallops. I know. It's really cute. Yeah. I first did it on the Susu sling. I was like, oh, I know. Try this. I loved it. Yeah, that one's really cute. Okay. Oh, so kind of just stuck it on there to where you can see. And then that's kind of how it looks on the back. That's so cute. So super easy. And now you just line up the liner, the back liner on the back and then top stitch. Okay, so here is my zipper pocket. I'm just going to add this back canvas piece to it to make it all enclosed. I'll just baste it around the edges and then it should be done. That was super easy to modify. Yeah, it really was. Mm -hmm. And now I'm catching up to you. Hold on. <laughs> You're good. You're good. We're not, we'll get as far as we get. And look, that fits almost perfectly. It's just that I'll have to trim off that much. That's it. Oh, you are good. When you're so, good, you're good. When you're good, you're good. Should I trim it off the top or the bottom? You think probably the top. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, Rhonda says, Amber, do you have a scalloped edge SVG for the Susu bag I can purchase? I um, do not have those made. I can easily make them if there's a want for those. That'd be really cool. Throw those on there. That would be really cool. Okay. I will. I could, I could link. If you come up with that, I can link that on my listing for the pattern. Oh, definitely. Yeah. So people can do that. That'd be cool. Yeah, that's a fun little flap, that guy. I got one for the, well, I got, I'm making a Guardian too. I'm adding one too. Oh I'm yeah, that's really creating cool. Creating a pocket on the Guardian just to add a. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. Yeah. Okay. Alexis, can you, can you message me to make those SVGs, please? So I don't forget. Because <laughs> I might forget. Okay, so here's this now. You can see it is, now I'm just going oh, to top, top stitch around here. Bloop, bloop, bloop. So just you just bottom. folded all of your edges evenly yeah. in mm -hmm. and sandwich that in between. Yeah, it's so easy. It's That's easy. adorable. You just got to line it up. All right. What is Amber doing with the tool she was just squeezing? I am squeezing my corners where I had folded them in just to make them a little flatter. It's not really necessary, especially because I'm using waterproof canvas. What was the tool you were using? It's called um, a clamp, I think. Oh, it's like yeah. Or the uh, PFOB clamp. Yeah. Amazon. Super cheap. I use it all the time. Whenever you have... Um, I am a professional scalloper. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you are. <laughs> Thank you, Alexis. Yeah, whenever I have thick thick seams, this is what I use. Okay. I just squeeze it. 
Yeah, I have heard people like do hammer and a mallet and all sorts of stuff, but that seems way easier. Yeah. Whatever gets the job done, honestly. Yeah, that's awesome. Okay, so this is done. Oh, you know what? Where did you add? Shoot. I probably should have added my tag on this part. Oh, yeah, I need to add my tag too. Shoot. Now I got to find a different spot. That's okay. Unless, yeah, I guess I, you could um, just open that top seam. Yeah, I could. Ooh, that's going to be a nice, like, perfect pocket for a phone. Honestly. It goes up, too. I don't know if you would need the up part, but... um, It's a pretty big area. Yeah, it's nice and big, nice and open. Should I pop that seam open and add my nameplate? Because that's pretty much the only place for that. I would. There really isn't anywhere else. Okay, do I add it on top piece or bottom piece? I say I added mine on the top. Like on, on the top. I'm like, yeah, I would do it maybe the, well, under your zipper maybe? Yeah, right oh, here. And, yeah, because your zipper's probably like right here. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, that'd be cute. Okay, I'm just gonna, just gonna pick this top little basting stitch here and pop that in there. No baby. Um, you reminded myself because I put a note to install my backpack. I always forget. I know. It's so I know. annoying. Like you, <laughs> you pay so much money to get a made, and then you're like, Ooh. usually it's pretty good. Okay. Not remembering, but every once in a while. Okay, so oh. there's that sewn in and done. You can't That's really so add white thread on purpose, so adorable. Where do you get your labels made? Um, from I get mine from Alibaba. Yep, me too. I, that's pretty much the only place to get metal metal ones made. You can get pretty faux leather ones done from Heartwood and Hyde. Um, that's what I started with. Yeah, I think it Heartwood and Hyde tags are a great starting tag. Yeah. Um, she does have quite a weight because she's pretty popular. But once you get in and you get over that weight, she can reprint your labels way quicker. So fast, yeah. It's worth it. K and A does metal bag tags. I don't know who that is, but okay. I can't vouch for that, but go check it out. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna put a little slit in here. Okay, I'm using my, so the cool thing is, if you ever do get metal bag tag makes, made, um, Carolina Little Stitches, she, ha she makes you these custom, um, they're, hold on, I'm trying to find my pen here. She makes custom bag tag like center things. So you know exactly where to put your cuts for your thing. Well, what does that look like? Oh. So you just send her a label. You send her one of your bag tags, and then she makes this tool so you can easily center and just find where to put really your cool. little. Yeah, it's great. Okay. I need my little exacto knife. Right back. This thread does not get off me. Okay. So what's, are we working on the side zipper pockets after this? Yes, after this we will do the side ones. Okay. I'm just getting my free check. Where did you go, my friend? Here it is. Here. Jennifer says, I got my bag tags from Amber's recommendation and love them and ordered the templates from Carolina Little Stitches the other day. Yay. Yay. Yeah. If anybody wants the supplier I order from, I think it's like the main one we've all been using forever. Uh, yeah. Angela. Is it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure everybody in the back community <laughs> might use the same person. 
I know. They're great. Yeah, yeah. no, they're great. So I have a I have a little uh picture to I'm pretty sure on that company's website, my tag is the main one to display. I think it is, to be example. honest. I think you are right. It is. Yeah. Yep. It's an investment, but it's a good one. It really does elevate a, your bag. But also the hardware and hide ones are, even though I have these metal ones, I yeah. for heart, heart wouldn't hide a lot. Some bags are, you want a softer tag. Yeah, yeah. I, I use hers quite a bit. I like them. Me too. Okay. I am done. Okay. I'm almost there. Ow. Nameplate installed. Zipper done. And then I'll need my side pocket pieces next. Yes. Do you have your um, interfacing attached with the whole cutout? For example? <laughs> um, so no. only like, okay. I have... I have them marked for where the zippers go. I don't have okay, it yeah. cut out. That's fine. Just you're going to sew, you're going to sew that box or I don't personally sew the entire box. I just sew the long edges. Uh-huh. We're doing that. We're doing right sides together. Sew that box. That's what I was wondering. And then you're just putting the zipper behind it raw. Like yeah, it's... it is raw. Yeah. Okay. I, I didn't like that personally. I changed it on this bag because um, I just cut the boxes. This is a raw edge on the um, vinyl. Uh, so I just kind of like took lenses uh -huh. way to do that hmm. personally. But it's, I mean, you know. Yeah. It works. Okay. You, you can't really see in there is the thing, you know? Yeah. All right, I'll sew around. So make sure when you guys do these side pieces, you mirror them. They that are mirrored is. pieces. Yeah, I didn't cut out the Decaville. I should have done that. I don't know why I didn't do that. This might be a bear to get to lay right. Yeah, sometimes it can be a little. And I'm using this bonded nylon, so that's. Slippery shoot. All right, I'm gonna heat up my iron real quick. Maybe I can use it okay. for that. Okay. Thanks, Amanda. Okay, here is my completed flap baroni. That's so cute. So I'm gonna get now I have my bottom and I have my top, and I'm gonna get the what is the name of this dang thing? Lining. Main lining. Main. No, this one's called front, front middle. Oh, front middle. The front middle. Okay. And you just take that. Now, be mindful because there is there can be a little space if you're doing it this way where you'll see uh, right, right here. So if you want it to match, make this the same fabric as your outside, you know. It's just so oh, yeah. it. Because you're pretty much just placing them on there and basting them. Yep, that's what you do. You just pl place and baste. Place and baste. Place and baste. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, she did. She did intend for there to be a small space here. So, if you are, um, you don't have to. You can butt it down. I'll show you a second here. I'm just lining them up. But she did intend. I don't like the space. I don't like that. So. Yeah, I'm like, I don't know if I would want a space. I would want them to be. But the thing is, she did it so the pocket's easier to get into. So right. I'm like, I get it, but I don't want to do it. Yeah. Okay. So there it is, the bottom of the slip on there. Okay. Okay. And that you take cute. this top and you're going to line it up on the, the top here. Susan just said. I think I need a design for metal tags. <laughs> you do. Susan, come you join could. the dark side. You're a bag maker, Susan. You yeah, you are. It's time to admit it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. See how if I line it up all the way, 
I have like that pink space there. Oh, yeah. Okay, so just be mindful. Um, you can butt it down and cut off the top. It does work fine. I've done it that way. Um, but it doesn't look horrible though. I think I'm gonna try it since I don't have a snap, just to see if it's easier to yeah get in there. You know. Uh huh. We'll see. I'm just gonna get a piece of foam now. I like. I I, I'm going to put a piece of foam down here just on the bottom and I'm just going to slide it in out of the seam allowance because this will end up being the bubble. Uh, and I don't want my bubble to unbubble. You don't want the bubble to pop? Yeah. Well, I have Decaville on mine, so it should be okay, right? I think you're fine. Yeah. Okay. I'm just going to get a little piece here. One second. We need labels that say turn and burn. Paula, we do. <laughs> That's funny. That would be hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> we are going to make shirts that say turn and burn. That is going to happen. Oh, um, yesterday, it's so funny. I was telling my family, okay, you're going to have to bike to school. Let's tell my son because I'm going to be um, sewing live. And my son's like, I said, I'm going to be sewing live with Kasaya. He's like, oh, she's not your dad? <laughs> that's her he's so cute <laughs> that's funny yeah. that's the one that's the one the one and only <laughs> um yeah if you guys get this pattern and get as far as we do today then you can sew along with us next friday right are we doing next friday Next Friday, we can do the next, same time if it works for you. Yeah, it works for me. Next Friday, we're going to be sitting down and finishing what we don't uh, finish today. So it'll be a two-part thing. And then nobody has to rush. See, I just put a piece right. of uh, foam and just sandwiched it in there. Oh, then, okay. I'm going to just baste all this, you know, use baste around yeah. it. Uh-huh. Did you already baste on the back of the front middle? I did. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, so if you're doing it the way I'm doing it now is before we base on these two slip pocket flap steely daubers, get your back and put it on here too. Yeah. You won't really see it. I mean, it goes in between. It's inside your double zippered pocket situation. Right. But. Oh, see, and I just left mine. I was just going to leave it like with this with my lining piece, that should be fine, right? I don't need to add yeah. You won't even see it. It won't match, but. You won't well, see it. Because my inside of my pocket is this heart material, but it'll be fine. Yeah. Be fine. You won't see it because it'll be the bubble kind it'll of. It'll be the bubble part, right? Okay. Uh, you can't okay. really see inside that pocket. It's pretty. Okay. Then I'm not gonna worry about it. It's Fort Knox in there. So. <laughs> Okay, perfect. <laughs> and the foam is not necessary that I added on the bottom of this slip pocket, but I just I just want it to have a little bit more structure. That's all. Well, you have made a couple, so I think you know what I'm talking about. This will be my third. It is an adventure making it, but I love the results. <laughs> I know. I thought, I wonder if she wants to make another one with me. <laughs> yes. The answer is always yes. <laughs> okay, good. Okay, so now we got everything basted on or clipped on. Now we're going to base around all the edges. Okay. Okay. That's really cute. Thanks. Okay. I'm loving it. And I've sewed my zipper pocket side pieces that square the zipper pocket square together and i'll cut that open and turn it through right yep okay and it's gonna be tough <laughs> it's not gonna be easy yeah so i do recommend cutting out that deck of the box out of the deck of all yeah i didn't do that so don't do what i did it'll just make it a smidge easier for yeah. But people can make this for sure. It's just you have to choose the right material. 
Well, I was talking. So Susan just made the Duncan Messenger Sling from Sincerely Gent. And it's yeah. an advanced pattern. It's not a beginner-friendly pattern. And she went slow. And she did it. I'm you like, can do it. you can do anything as long as you just take it step by step. Yeah. Don't be in a rush the night before you're fine. Yeah. Um, the heart material is from Wonderground. It's Where we're going to be this weekend. When you fly over Vegas, wave to me. I know. <laughs> Susan's flying out of Vegas. Oh, are you? Yeah, she is in the morning. It's so expensive to fly out of St. George. Yeah, I, I can see that. It's so ridiculous. We're a, we're a little hub, so. Yeah. Um, well, big hub. I told Susan to bring an extra suitcase so we can stock up on Wonderground stuff. <laughs> I am so smart, though. <laughs> Better than I, might as well. <laughs> yeah. I can't tell you how many times I've went on vacation, like back to Wisconsin where my family's from. And I'm like, okay, we need to buy another suitcase. Yeah. Souvenirs. For real. She's like, are you serious? Do you really want me to bring another suitcase? I'm like, I'm a hundred percent serious. If you want to buy material. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. This is not going to be easy here. Don't leave the Decaville in like I did, guys. I don't know what I was thinking. I knew better. I was tired. It was late. Yeah. I did that on my first one, too. So. I may have had a high noon or two when I got to this interfacing part. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mwah -ah -ah. Okay. Look at that. Now we're done. And yes, this is way easier without the, why not? We don't need a freaking, don't waste your hardware. You don't yeah. I don't think it needs a snap, right? Okay. No. No. Um, Beyond says, Amber, have you always used Decaville light in your bags or have you ever tried foam? She definitely tries both, right? Yeah. I love yeah. foam. Foam's my she favorite. She loves foam. Honestly, foam's my favorite. I like foam too. Um, I think they're both great options. Yeah, it's really just kind of what you prefer for your... Yeah. If you want a softer bag or a more structured, right? Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. So for the... So what are the heck? I would have named these a little bit differently personally, but... <laughs> well, she is... A, what is she, French? Is it... Uh, she's German. And German she's a flight attendant, so the English is not her first language. Yeah, that's really well, honestly. Yeah, which is pretty impressive that she was able to do this in English, honestly. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna set this little cutie aside. Oh, Beyonce says in this pattern, which which do you prefer, oh. Decaville or foam? I prefer both. Both. Yeah, we're using both, Beyonce. We're using uh. Mm -hmm. Foam in between, right? Yeah. So the thing is, this is my the very first time I ever made this. This is my note. This is my my notebook. It, it literally, if my house is burning down, I'm grabbing this. <laughs> <laughs> I need to be better at that. I never write stuff down, and then I'm like, I don't remember what I did. <laughs> yeah. Every every new pattern, I always have a new page, and I say, oh, next time I do this. Uh huh. That's but awesome. These are the parts. After I made it the first time, I said to myself. I need to make these a little thicker because you saw my first one. It was a little squishy. Yeah. The, the front slip and flap. So these pieces here, um, the gusset and the back main, the back part that goes on your back. I felt like that needed more interfacing. And then these little side guys here because they can, they can cave. Let me show you. Right. They need to be pretty structured, right? Yeah, they can kind of ripple and just not um they're just like too smushy. They need to, they need the structure. Because this is this seam right here, this this is a bound seam right here. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This seam. So it's pretty it's that's your boning basically, but it it loses it right here at this seam. So Okay. Just heads up. So there's your answer. <laughs> Um, I have a question for you. So I have, um, you know, turned it through 
Sorry, I'm having a hard time figuring out where to place this on my <laughs> in my camera. I know. Um, do you think if I go ahead and base this right now, it'll stay in place easier for me to install the zipper? Like have a double, like a double stitch. That might be cute. No, but like base the edges first. So oh. this slippery material stays when I put my zipper in. Yeah. That That's won't hurt, right? Idea. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to do that because I did use bonded nylon. So it's just so slippery. I don't I love it in bags, but it's just a little bit more difficult to work with sometimes. Yeah. So in mine, I just have the, um, this is um, Lauren's water resistant canvas. This is my little shindig's waterproof canvas. And I did my deck of a light on the exterior, but I cut out the zipper box. Yeah. See, if now, I would have done that, this wouldn't be so hard. <laughs> yeah. And I also, I'm trying something new here now. My friend who sews bags for her job. For like, her dog? For her job. She, oh. trained, she's like batch <laughs> sewing like tons of bags now. Okay. He said for her, her name is Erin, E-R-Y-N-N. Erin uh -huh. sews shite is her Instagram handle. But she uses a domestic machine and just sews these lines because the thread on our industrials is kind of thick and it makes it hard to fold this seam thinner you know okay yeah that makes sense so i tried okay. it on this one here i already uh -huh. sewed it just to see and so i'm gonna i'm not i'm not sure yet we're gonna figure okay. it out <laughs> that's interesting it's an experiment huh. i don't know if she said it's better though so she swears by it she says she sews all her zipper boxes that way i'm like oh okay i'll try it girlfriend you can yeah. stop about so look what i have oh oh okay. <laughs> What is that? <laughs> this is my little $200 baby domestic machine. My I love it. <laughs> it's already ready. I'm just going to sew down these two long edges inside my Duckaville light. Okay. That's awesome. So I'm really I've never even thought about that. That's interesting. I know. And it makes like in my sewing brain. Yeah, that makes sense. It totally makes sense. Uh-huh. I'm gonna pull my needle. Okay, I think basting that's gonna make this next part easier for me. Yes, I agree. Okay. Hi Jen. We're just we're just making this bubble bag. All right. So definitely gonna need to trim down this zipper. It's way too long for this opening. I wish we could have theme songs playing. Because you know what song would be perfect for this bag? Uh, bubble butt. Bubble butt. <laughs> <laughs> it's stuck in my head this whole time. <laughs> That's funny. Yep, that would be kind of perfect. I agree. Like, I would pay for a license to be able to use music during my video. <laughs> I know, right? I really would. That's so frustrating sometimes. Because, like, I try to use the music they have on YouTube, and it's pretty lame. Yeah. Ugh. Yeah. <sighs> okay. One side done, one side to go. <laughs> Susan says, I don't even know what that is. High noon. But your evil laugh gave it away. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. It's my favorite. Okay. And we want the zipper going from top to bottom. Yes. Another and thing curved, to look out for. The curved end is the bottom. Yep. That's the butt. The butt. <laughs> the bubble butt. Yeah. All right. Right like that. Okay. Done. Look at that little domestic machine usage. Yeah, I just wanted to try it. I've been wanting to try it. And I told myself, next time I make this bag, I'm going to freaking try it. Yeah, I think that's awesome. I think it'll work well. 
Yeah, I think I, I totally get the logic in that. Yeah. Yeah, I'm like, is there a way you could sandwich this zipper in between? I'm sure there is. The two layers. Well, that's what I did here. I did it, but I had to Oh, because you did the raw edge. Yeah. And then what'd you do with the lining then? You did you fold it over? I just cut it and then just folded it and stuck it down with double stick tape and then put it in there before I uh kind of like a purse pal type of thing, right? Yeah, that's exactly what I did. Yep. yep. Uh, that makes sense. Do you like that better than I, leaving it just raw? I do, like, yeah. Yeah. I think if I were to do it again, I might do it that way. Or this, uh, this way might be my favorite too. I got to see. I'm going to see yeah. how it, if it lays flat enough for me. Mm -hmm. So I'm just cutting the V's, getting as close to my stitches as possible. All right. I'm sewing my zipper in here. Okay. I wonder if I should go to my skinny foot. Mm. Now I got a little yellow. So now we can just turn it. I'm just gonna like fold back my there along these long edges. So I do love this waterproof canvas. I love the feel. It does, it's a little bit of a fray one though. The yeah, usually the light ones fray, huh? Yeah, so they're just so you know. You're That's not. Late. I don't know if I've ever used uh, Lauren's canvas. The water resistant, it shrinks. So you got to pre iron it just a heads up. Oh, really? Yeah, it'll shrink. Mm -hmm. Huh. That's weird. Yeah, a lot of them do. I've gotten some from everywhere, really. If it's the water resistant canvas type, uh huh. Uh, those ones will. I kind of need to make my. Um, I cut my stitches on accident right here. <laughs> I've done that. <laughs> we're just, we're just it, happens. it happens. Okay. All right, now we can turn it. No, I did not stitch the short end, Sherry. I don't like to do that. I don't like to fight with that little, it folds out of the way just fine. Usually. Yeah, she just did two straight lines down, right? I stitched yeah. my box just out of habit. Hey, that doesn't look bad. Okay. Oh, yeah, perfect. Looks okay. good. Mm -hmm. And in the back, I don't love, but it's rough, yeah. Uh, you won't be really, I mean, when you reach in that pocket, you're not really going to be seeing that, right? No, mm -mm. Yeah, no, that's really cute. Okay. So still doable if you forget to cut out your Decaville. <laughs> yep. But let, man, this is pretty close to the bottom of um, this piece. Like the bottom of the zipper is pretty close to the bottom of this piece. Yeah. What's our seam allowance? Like that's. It's three eight, so probably maybe trim that little zipper part. Yeah, I'm definitely trimming it. Okay. Yeah. Okay, that might be okay. It's gonna be like right there. Yeah. All right. I mean, I. Well, it's pretty close up here too, so that just might be what it is. All right. Mm -hmm. I'm going to trim this one just a tiny bit too. And then I'll do my other one. Cute. So this has to go on the side of this somehow. Yep, I'll show you. Oh my that, God. That that flat edge, the flat edge is not the part that. Oh, I'll... right. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> it's going to go on the curb edge. Duh. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, that doesn't fit. <laughs> we'll lay it up on the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> Silly me. Okay, perfect. Holly, it's going great. We're doing fabulous. We're just working on. We're, we'll, we'll do about half the bag today. Yeah. 
and then we'll come back next week and finish so you guys can catch up yes you guys can get the pattern and sew along with us that would be awesome it really would you could see a bunch of bubble bags they're like the perfect little size they're so cute Actually, I don't even know I said little. They're definitely not little. <clears throat> I was uh, telling Amber, this designer had a couple of other really cute patterns on her website that yeah. I want to try. I'm going to baste my liner like you did. Yeah, it helped. Yeah. I installed that zipper for sure. And my uh, waterproof canvas is a little frayish, so. Yeah. One thing I like about the bonded nylon is it doesn't fray. Yeah. Like, I like that aspect of it. Um, amber is court always dark on. Court it always seems dark. that way. Court always dark on Friday. Um, what does that mean? Part. So dark means our judge just has no hearings. Oh. Paula, okay. are you a, do you work in court? I'm all. Dark. Yeah, that's a, that's, dark. That's a uh, <laughs> that's <industry> weird. <laughs> yeah, she must she work. Must, her name yeah, is, she must like, be a court person, huh? Yeah. I'm sorry if you've told me that before, but I it's hard to keep track of everything. Okay, so I'm not going to base this anymore because it's getting all rumply, and I don't like that look. See, it's like too much tension. It's all rumply right here. Uh huh. So oh, I'm just stopping. It's fine. We'll okay. Finish. Well, mine kind of bowed up like that, and then I put the zipper in and sewed around it, and it flattened out. Oh, good. Okay. It I'm flattened just, it out. I'm just gonna go to my iron real quick and just. Boop. Yeah, you have a different material than me, so it might be different. Um, Cindy says, "What's the advantage of not sewing the short ends?" of the zipper ends. Um, it, it lays better and you don't have those puckered corners sometimes if you don't sew all the way around the box. Yeah. <clears throat> I've done it both ways. Um, I, I mean, I don't know. I don't really prefer one method over the other. So it's just whatever is easiest for you, whatever you think works best. Yeah, that's all it is. Mm-hmm. All right, I'm gonna get my zipper. Where are you? Where is it? We need a pattern designer to design a dog backpack. Like to go on a dog or for the dog to go on you. <laughs> right. Yeah, that is quite the distinction. Well <laughs> like clarification. Because I would wear Marley May on my back. <laughs> I bought my mom a um little dog backpack thing once to wear really? yeah she's got the tiniest dog he weighs like yep. two pounds i mean yeah. marley's 10 but she would totally fit in a little bag yeah he loves to cuddle I'm like mm -hmm. so jealous my dogs are not cuddlers mine either yeah no mine aren't i have to force them like i pick up marley May and force her to cuddle with me she's like fine <laughs> You will love me. <laughs> okay, I'm just adding some double stick tape down the long edges of my zipper. Uh, yeah. She says to go on the dog. Hmm. Interesting. My dogs would hate that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But that's a good idea. Make them carry their own poop bags, huh? <laughs> Here, dog. Oh. Um, okay. So Paula says she was a paralegal for 30 years. Whoa. Wow, Paula. That's crazy. And you definitely know the tea. Yep. We're dark usually Fridays. Dark Fridays. I took today off so they couldn't call me in. Yay. But we were talking about it. I was like, oh, now it's official. I put in the day off. <laughs> uh, love it. Yeah. 
I'd rather be doing this. Trust. If I could be a millionaire doing this, I'd be my job so fast. Wouldn't that be nice? Gosh. <sighs> so you could definitely cut like an inch off the zipper length. You don't. Yeah. You don't, you yeah. Don't need nine inches. You yeah. Know, the length and the pattern definitely is longer than you need. Mm -hmm. Yep. 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 I love this variegated thread. Oh my gosh. It's so good. I'm like, why have I not been using this? This is so pretty. Okay, now we're gonna sew around the, so there it is, it's just kind of tape based it on. We're gonna sew around that now. Switching to my zipper foot. Hey, we're pretty, um, we're pretty matched in how quick we go. This is pretty nice. Are we? I feel like I'm falling behind. I'm really trying. No, you're, well, okay. we, had, we had a couple of different steps and you tried out that thing, but we're pretty much, I mean. Yeah, we are doing good. Yeah, we're doing great. I'm going to pull my thread needles to the back, so that's okay. why. Just so you know, if anyone was wondering. You're fancy like Susan. She likes to do that, too. I love to do it. I will if it really needs it. Probably better to backstitch. Yeah, I don't know. It's probably about the same. It's like sewing the full zipper or not. Just to touch it. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Susan says, if I was there, I'd be way faster than both of you. <laughs> oh, I'm sure. I smell a duel coming on. <laughs> Susan, you do live close to Amber. You could join her. <laughs> I'm available most Friday, Susan. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> That's funny. You could literally make whatever you want. It'd be fun. She has more experience on an industrial now. Well, yeah. That's done. Not a duel, just a joke. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. That would be funny to have like a sewing speed competition. <laughs> Oh my gosh, wouldn't it? Yeah, I, I actually, maybe we should do something like that. I think that would be fun. Me See too. Can make the bag the quickest and then have a judge like actually look at the work. Done. Yeah. That, you know what I mean? Like, not just that they got it done the quickest, but like it has to look good too. Yeah. That'd be actually kind of fun. I'm down. Sign me up. Yeah. I will probably lose, but sign me up. <laughs> I'm pretty fast. You would smoke me. You would. You'd smoke me. <laughs> uh, all right. Have you, did you fully do your other one? Huh? Your other zipper? Did you already do your other one? No. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm coming. I can show you the next step, though. No, I just didn't know you had said you did the other one ahead of time. So I didn't know if you fully finished it or not. No, I just sewed the with the domestic. Okay. okay. Trim down You're this good. tape. Okay. Ugh. Okay. All right. I definitely cut off like an inch of tape. So. Yeah, so did I. I'm going to burn my ends though because it is wrong. Bricks bag. That's the one, Rhonda. That's the one I was talking about. She says, Bricks bag video next, please, from the same designer. That's the one that I saw that I thought was so cute. Have you seen that one? Yes. I did I make that one? Did you make it? I don't. That was her first one she ever. No. Oh. Yeah, I made that one. Yep. You did? Yeah, let me I'll show you guys want to see a picture? Yes. <clears throat> I do. So I have it easy to find as well. Let's see it. I made that yeah. last year. Should that be our next sew? This one's a good one. It is a good one. 
Mm -hmm. Mine was a Ghibli, Studio Ghibli one. Let me see. There it is. And she's lovely. Oh, see? That's so cute. Yeah, that one's way cute. Let me see if I have inside pictures. Oh, oh here you can put the handle. Uh huh. Okay. Oh, is it little? It, my hands are large. Remember that. So <laughs> hands are large. <laughs> it's probably regular. You know, I want to say it's probably about the size of the susu. Maybe a little bit. Okay. Okay. I love the the front pocket on it. Yeah. Let me see if I have any pictures of there. The opening. Yeah, that's really. Here's cute. kind of like a double open. The both pockets open. It's kind of. Oh, see. Is it bound? It's yeah. bound. Yeah, that's how she makes hers. Mm -hmm. Like all of her bags? <sighs> okay. I don't know. A lot of them. I yeah. haven't made them all yet, but I've made a lot of them. Yeah. That one's really cute. I want to make that one. Yeah, that one's a good one. It's a little challenging with the front zi attaching the front zipper thing. But uh -huh. Not undoable. I mean, it's easy to do it. Okay. Just take time, that's all. Okay. All right, I have my. Okay, so now what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your middle, okay, and you lay your um, right sides together. So this is how it'll look. Mm -hmm. Okay, and you'll clip it, and then rotate this around the. Got it. The bubble, okay, and the okay. top point should come up to your top. Okay. All right. So Staples. Hold it good enough, or will I need the staple? You have vinyl, so I think you'll be fine with clips. I think I'll be okay. Yeah, so you're going to do that on each side, and then you'll bind. Oh, yes. I bind this part. Yes. That yes. makes sense. Okay. That's okay. why it kind of gets a little froggy at the tops. Right. Like, it's here because this is like binding meeting binding. Right. <laughs> that that's, yeah. yeah, that's thick. Well, I'm glad I'm using fold over elastic then because it's kind of thin material for the binding. Yeah, and it'll stretch over. And yeah. it'll stretch, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, Honestly, yeah, that, that fits nice. Look at that. Yeah, it doesn't seem like it would, but it does. It totally fit. Wow. I was um, I was doubting just a little. Yeah. I know. I <laughs> Honestly. I've been there. I was like, uh. Okay. I was like, what? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we were That's tough. working. Okay. Oh, broken clip. Okay. Yay, this is going to be so cute. Are there card slots in the front pocket? Um, are you talking about the bricks bag? I don't know. Are there no card slots? Have, no, there's a zipper. Um, there is a zippered overlay type pocket on the inside. Okay. And I can't remember if that's because I just made it that way or if it came that way. Uh, what is my seam allowance for this part? Three eighths. Okay. Is that pretty much the entire pattern? Yeah, that's, I think that's standard in their country. Okay. Yeah. Okay. It, it ends up being like one, what is it? One millimeter or something is three eighths. Oh my God. Okay. I don't know. But if you did it at a quarter, you know, it wouldn't be bad. Well. But three eighths is technically the pattern. Okay. It's just hard to get the very top to stay where I want it to. Yeah. And put it under my foot here. Do you find it's easier to start on the top or the bottom, or does it matter? Uh, I don't have a recollection of either being easier. Okay. Oh, okay. So Jill over at Kite Co Create says that uh, she didn't bind; she added the lining and turned it through. See, that's what I was wondering if that was a possibility. That might be the way to go. Oh, you know what? And Jill, you have a video on this one, don't you? I'm pretty sure you do. Don't you? I think you do. If you do, um, I'm pretty sure Jill does actually. Uh, 
But if you have the pattern and on her Patreon, Sarah has a, um, also, I don't know. Can I call her Sarah or is Sarah Miriam her name? I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I should ask her. But she has like a tip for reducing the bulks in those corners. So. Okay. An option. Okay, I'm gonna go iron this really quick. My clips are all breaking. Do you still have snow over there? No. Um it's been in the 70s, 60s, 70s. Well, barely the 70s. Um, it's been in the high 60s. So our snow's mostly melted, but I'm sure we'll get one more snowstorm. Yeah. Before it's officially spring. We usually get a late. I think it's supposed to get cold this weekend. I don't know. I'm going to be in California, so it doesn't matter. Oh, uh, my piece kind of slipped. It's not completely even with the bottom, but that's okay, right? Yeah. Like, it's just like that much off. Will that be okay? I think so. Okay, so Jill at Kiteco Crates did do a tutorial on this, and she shows the turnout method, not the binding. Oh, okay. That's awesome. Jill also creates patterns, so there you go. Yeah, I think I've done one for wallets before. Um, so now I want to bind this. Yep. Okay. Righty. I know you meant hack, Jill. <laughs> what? She wrote Jack instead of hack. She's like, <laughs> Jack. I know. You have to kind of like read between the lines sometimes when people type. <laughs> You're like, okay, yeah. that's <laughs> okay. But this is like, honestly, like the most involved part of the bag, this whole front bubble. Yeah, I would think so. Well, let's just even looking at the pattern. I'm like, okay, that, that front part's going to take a hot second. Mm -hmm. But it's so cute. It's so cute. I want to get the floral print sheet used printed on vinyl. I don't know what you're talking about, but okay. I missed something. Byung says, Sarah Miriam has such a great suggestion for reducing the bulk where the binding meets the binding. It's so clever. And now I use that tip all the time. Yep. I'm pretty sure it's just opening up that seam. And then the binding kind of flattens around it. Okay. If I'm remembering right. I did watch it. But honestly, if I make this again, I probably would follow Jill's way. Yeah, I'm interested in, yeah, turning this part out. Definitely. Okay, there we go. Time to sew. Okay, I'm just sewing on my zipper and then I'll be with you. Okie dokie. lately um i'm re-watching brooklyn 99 because oh i love that show i love it and i can i can work while i listen to that one because i can just laugh and you know what i mean like it, yeah. i don't have to i need shows where i don't have to concentrate while i work <laughs> yeah. 
but I'm looking for like a good show to watch. I haven't found a good show in a while. Yeah, we're we re -re we are rewatching the Game of Thrones ones because my husband dusted me, so I'm almost totally caught up on that. But we, I started the Queen's Gambit the other day. Oh, yep, yep, I've seen that. I, one. I could not stop watching it. Oh my that's gosh, good. that's the that's the chess one, right? Yeah, the girl chess. Yeah, that one's mm -hmm. that one's good. I watched that a while ago. Yeah, I'm I'm enjoying that one. Now, I like to watch a couple of shows at night before I go to bed, and I haven't found one that I love recently. Yeah. I, mean, I watched the first season of True Detective. Have you seen that one? I just watched the recent season because mm. my mom said, you don't have to know, you don't have to watch. Yeah, the you don't. And that is trippy. That was good. Um, the first one's really good. I started the second season, and I don't, I couldn't get into it as much. Yeah. So there's my there's my first side. Oh, it it's looks, gorgeous. It's so hard to figure out where my camera is at. I don't know if you can see the variegated thread on that black. Yes, I can. It it's so really pretty. pretty. Okay. First side. Ooh, I got a pucker. Dang it. Dang it. Dang it. That's okay. It kind of flattens out when it turns out. Yeah. Because it's going to be like that, right? Yep. Oh, that's cute, guys. I know. Look at that. That's really cute. It's worth it. All right. And I like the zipper pocket on the front. Yes. That's actually. It turned out good. Yeah. I'll do that okay. next time for sure. All right. Second one. Here we go. All right. I'm catching up. <clears throat> Need a drink of water. Yeah, that curve wasn't as hard as I was expecting it to be. Yeah, it's not. It's not too bad. No, mm -mm, it's not too bad. Paula, am I selling this? Most likely. Most likely. I was like, I need to stop keeping my own bags. I have way too many. I know. <laughs> I know the feeling. And I'm like, I have no place to put all this stuff. I know. I do want to remake. I want to make another Oxbow overnight tote for myself. Yeah. Oh, that is so cute. Yeah. I want to make it in kind of like black and browns. Mm -hmm. And for myself. But yeah. I'm like, I need to quit keeping my bags. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I get it. Yeah. So no, I will probably sell this one. I'm going to attempt a transponder. Is that how Jen pronounces Ooh, it? Ooh, transponster. Sponster. That's it. Uh-huh. Yep. I'm going to, I'm going to try. Cute. My daughter, she hurt her shoulder. She's got an AC separation. Oh no. So she can't really wear a backpack. She's got a sling on. Uh-huh. And so I was like, well, you're going to need to carry a tote of some kind, you know, and it's just like middle school. They're like, oh, yep. you don't want anything mom made, I guess, whatever. Yeah. But she finally told me yesterday, she's like, I'll take it. I need it. I'm like, okay, that's me. Yay. Yeah, I made um, a a tote for my my 18 year old. She finally asked for something and she wanted it black with gold hardware very basic, like a, you know, like a Michael Kors tote. Yeah. And so I hacked the Mr. Heckles and made her this tote and she loves it. She's actually using it. I'm like, oh my gosh, I must be dreaming. I know. That's so amazing. <laughs> that's funny. The Transponster, that's the one that comes in three sizes. I think it's, yeah, four. Um, a lot. And I would highly suggest doing it a little bit different than what the pattern is written. Did you do it on your tutorial or? Um, I didn't. I haven't tried it the way that I think it should be done. That would make it a little bit easier. I think if you sewed instead of, I'll have to get it out and uh, figure it out. But you pretty much want to 
sew it with raw edges facing out at the end with your edge pieces and then just bind them. I think that might be easier. Okay. Then uh, how it's written. I don't know. I haven't tried it yet. Do you start at the big bottom curve or at the top? I think I change depending on what size I'm on. Okay, yeah, that's what okay. I was. I'm like, now I'm at this side, so I need to start at the bottom, I think. Yeah. Um, the young, I didn't post a picture of that one, of the one I made my daughter. I was, um, I just did it late at night one night before I left on a trip, so I didn't post a picture. Really freaking cute, though. I think it's almost easier to start at the bottom. It it wasn't as hard to get it under my needle to start. Yeah, it's a little bit of a... Fifty curve here. Yeah. I'm trying to make sure my... I should have basted mine together, but because they're just waterproof canvas, it's just... This pattern is pretty forgiving. Everything fits pretty good. So, um, this isn't tricky, guys. Uh, Paula, this isn't actually tricky. It's just sewing on the curve. Yeah, it's, it's totally doable. You just have to kind of curve your fabric with it, but it's not hard. No, I, I wouldn't say so either. No, I wouldn't say it was hard. Nothing in the bag is particularly hard. It's just the one seams. Well, it's four points on the one attaching. That's just a little thick. So. Okay. Okay. I just basted my side on. I'm just going to get my fabric therapy double stick luxe. This is the seven eighth inch one. She has a couple different sizes. And is that the one that's like the finished edges? Yeah, it's like a ribbon almost. Like the it's the one you used when you were here. It's that one. Yeah, that stuff was nice. I liked it. Yeah. If you were on a cylinder arm, would that also make a difference on the curved area? Probably. Um, probably. Sure. It would probably be yeah. easier. Yeah, I would think so. But like you said, it's not hard. So. No, it's not hard. You just have to manipulate the material to get it underneath there. It's not hard, though. Okay, now I just have to bind this side here. Where's my... There it is. Amber, what Juki machine are you sewing on? I have an 1181N. Which is the equivalent to my machine. Yeah, it's the same thing. I mean, we're basically sewing on the same machine. They just have different name brands. Yeah, because when you came to my house, you're like, oh, yeah, I know how to. Oh, fine. It yeah, it was, it was pretty straightforward. There might be like one or two minor differences, but for the most part, they're the same. Yeah. <clears throat> Price-wise, mine's just a little bit cheaper because it's an off-brand. Uh, Vicki, I really love the machine you use. I am thinking about saving for one. You should. Um, industrial machines are worth every penny. <laughs> if you really want to make bags, for sure. If you, if you want to make bags and you don't want to worry about materials and thickness, <laughs> you want an industrial. Uh, Jill, my self-adhesive binding does not have any stretch. But I don't have any issues with it. So. And your needle doesn't have any issues with the, I don't remember having a sticky needle. No, the sticky, and it's right. pretty thick binding, but it won't stick. And uh, I just use the Graz Becker needles. Uh-huh, that's what I use. Yep. Yeah. All right, what size are you using on this bag? I always use 19. Okay. I might switch to 20 when we get those four corners, depending. Yeah, I've got a 20 in right now. I just figured with the materials I'm using, 
it'd probably be a safe bet. <laughs> yeah. Okay, here we go. Mm. Okay. Kim says, best investment I made was an industrial. Yeah. Yeah, just make sure if you're buying an industrial for bag making that it's a walking foot. There are lots of industrial machines out there. You need one with a walking foot. Yes. I will. That is what makes the difference. So it walks over all those layers. Mm-hmm. My husband bought me a Weber 303. That must be another kind of brand. Very cool. Yeah, there's lots of different ones out there. A lot of them will do the job, too. I don't feel like there's one specific one. No. No. I've sewn on a lot of different machines that do a good job. Okay, here's my first side attached. I just wanted to... Let's see it. Looks pretty good. That looks awesome. So cute. This is what the uh, waterproof canvas is. So, and okay. that's what the designer uses when she yeah sews it. So I almost I have some really pretty printed canvas from Printy Fabrics that I almost used for this bag. I was like, oh, that'd be cute. Yeah. Okay. Tammy says, I just got a 1541 S, kind of scared to use a cotton on it. Yeah, that machine is not really meant for thinner materials like cotton, actually. I would get a different machine to sew your cottons on, like your domestic. Yeah. That's a more heavy duty machine. For like leather and stuff, right? Yeah, uh huh. That's more for leather. Um, materials and like when you get to really thick stuff when you're top stitching them. Yeah, I've heard it eats it eats cotton. Um, Kasai, can you do thinner materials on your machine? Yep, sure can. I can sew all of it on my machine. <clears throat> all right, I've got my two sides on. Where Perfect this out here so now what you'll do is you'll take two of your main body linings and you're going to do them basically um wrong sides together you can put foam in the middle of those if you want yeah i have one i basted foam on one of them because you told me to yeah because that'll and be Wish between your main compartment and your front zipper. Okay, so I'm basting these two lining pieces together first. I would, yes. Okay. Because we're basically going to then baste the bubble on top of that. Okay. Got it. Yeah. Got it. Hi, Rose. I'm going to see Rose this weekend at Wonderground. Yay. Hopefully they have nice weather for you. Yeah, I looked. It's supposed to be 60s, 70s, about the same as it is here. So that's fine. Yeah. I'm happy if I just have to wear jeans and a t-shirt and yeah. throw on a hoodie every once in a while. That's perfect weather for me. That's what I'm used to. Yeah. I don't need hot. We're going to Arizona in a couple weeks. So I'll get hot in a couple weeks. Boy, doesn't it get hot there? It's crazy. Yeah. So we got, have you heard of Savannah Banana Baseball? Or party animals? Yes, the funny. It's like the funny one, right? It's where they dance and sing and whatnot, right? Yeah. So Missy has been on the wait list because it's hard to get tickets. And she yeah. finally got in and we were had five tickets that we could get. So she got all five. <laughs> So we're going to Arizona in a couple weeks to watch that <laughs> and do a girls oh weekend. Oh my gosh, that's going to be so fun. I've seen I know. that online. It tracks me up. I know. We got jerseys and hats. We're going to have so much fun. Oh yeah, you are. We're going to do that one night and then 
We got a cabana at a pool the next day. Ugh. It's it just is coming up on cool season. Yes, I love it. I'll soak it up. I'm so pasty white right now. I have to be careful. I have that um, melasma on my face, so. Yeah. yeah. I always make sure my face is covered. Yeah. I don't want wrinkles. I can't even go out in the sun to water my plants because I'm telling you, <laughs> I get like these dark, and it's right on my lips. It looks like I have a mustache. And it's oh, like, no. I promise it's just miscolored skin. <laughs> no. Nothing wrong with having a mustache. <laughs> Oh. Saya, are you going tonight or tomorrow morning? Amber, we are leaving tomorrow. Tomorrow morning. I have comedy tickets tonight, and Susan has rehearsals, so we couldn't leave tonight. All right. Awesome. I'm just going to wait for you to catch up. Okay. Yeah, because you're not far behind. Nope. I'm going to go um, say hi. Missy just got here to do orders. I'm going to go talk to her real quick and use the restroom. I'll be right back. Okay. 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 Here we go. Yeah, this bag's pretty fun. It's pretty fun. I would, honestly, I would recommend the waterproof canvas. I'm really, I thought it was going to be too floppy all, but it's not. Not at all. Plus, you have all this binding, and it, it's a good structure, you know? So. Yeah, the melasma, I just get it, you know? Ever since I had kids, it's just really, I get it. I have, like, a couple of spots. I've been to the dermatologist. They've, uh, like, frozen my skin to get it to, like, you know, regenerate or whatever. It's just who I am, <laughs> which is fine. But I do wear my sunblock. Well, I wear it anyways, but I really, I can't even go out in the morning and, like, water my plants with a little bit of the morning light. Mm -mm. The UV, the UV index is too wild. Okay, back. Yay. Yeah, it's pretty structured and it's just waterproof canvas. It's not, and like I said, the Decoville light. Um, did you see Paula's question? What was it? No. What's the denier on the waterproof canvas? Oh my goodness, girl, you put me on test in my um, <laughs> You know, it's from it's from Lauren at Mormino, so it's pretty thin. It's not really thick. It's not like the stuff that has the the plastic coating. So it's probably yeah. three hundred maybe. Yeah, it's not it's not too crazy. Yeah. Oh, Am I going to need a uh, centers clipped and marked? Yes. Top, bottom. Yeah, okay. for our, uh, for when we attach the gusset. Yeah. Yeah, Paula, um, regular waterproof, like thick waterproof canvas is usually about 600 denier. So I think a lot of people have been using the lighter 300. The only downside with that is it does fray. And it shrinks. And it shrinks. It doesn't have the coating on the back. It frays, it shrinks. So you just got to be aware of those things when you're using it. I just pre-iron and then I cut. Yeah. And if you run a lighter along your edges, sometimes that helps seal up the canvas. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah. Okay. Look at this little cutie with a booty. Let's see our cuties. Yay! That's so cute. Those are adorable. <laughs> okay. So that was great. 
All right, I'm nervous about this next part. Okay, let me get there. Let me get there. So when it tells you to cut three linings of the main piece, you do. You really yeah. need three because one's going to be the backing for this big pocket. Mm -hmm. And then one will be, you got, you need both of your linings for your main compartments. So you really do need three. Yeah. And then it was the first time I made it. I'm like, three? That's wrong. I know. I thought so too. And then I was like, oh, wait, no. Yep. <laughs> What's kidding? Yeah. Okay. Let me just find my centers. I almost was a person who found my centers before we started today. I almost did it. Yeah. And, and then I didn't. <laughs> Which way are you going to be laying the seam for this side pocket? Well, that's the, in the trick that they teach you, um, you can just butterfly open that seam. Oh. If you unpick your binding a little bit. Uh-huh. Um, I'm not going to do that. No, I'm not going to. I'm like, no. <laughs> so we'll probably lay it. It seems like the whole thing lays better if you uh, push it towards the inside of, or the main panel. Yeah. Yeah. It is kind of bulky, but our machines can handle it. Yeah. My design on my, this is from My Little Shindig. It's Swifty. It's just like a. It's really cute. A bunch of like things for Taylor Swift. Hi, Missy. Can't hear me. Okay, I'm just going to get a piece of tape and wrong side. Okay, so the slippery side is the right side. My freaking cat, she always gets me. Dang you. <laughs> she likes to sit up on my ironing board. Uh-huh. I, I don't know why. It drives me bananas. Cats are strange. Yeah. I have two non-shedding dogs, and I am so grateful for that. <laughs> hey, hey. My mom has non-shedding dogs. That is the way to go. Uh huh. Ooh, I think I did Decaville in my pieces, and it is giving it such a nice shape right there. Yeah. I so I did Decaville as well, but I added foam. Remember, just in the yeah, spot. you added foam. But you're using thinner material. I've got the vinyl and I just did Decaville and it's looking pretty good. Looking real good. Looking like a snack. Bubble butt. Like it. Okay. Such a cute front. I love it. It really is. It's unique. I haven't seen uh -huh. it like it. Yeah, I really like it. Okay, I'm just gonna paste I'm just I'm just clipping this all in, right? Yep. Okay. And we're just going to baste it on there because um, we'll end up attaching that to the gusset. Gusset, uh-huh. And okay. that's where we'll bind it and do all that. So we're really just basting that front pocket on there. Okay. It's that's easy enough. We can do that. Pretty easy. And you might end up having a couple um, little... Where that seam is up here, you may need to trim a little of this off once yeah. you're attaching it. That and that's in the pattern. You can do that. Yeah, I've noticed that. Okay. okay. Oh, hi, Oakley. Hi, baby. Hi, sweetie. What do you think? That 
fits in there really nicely. It really does. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. There's like I didn't have to. I didn't have to like wiggle too much to get that in there. Yeah. So I've done it where I leave that space in between the slip pocket and the flap. And I've done it where I butted it right up and, and then that made me have to trim a little off the top. Uh huh. And it still fits fine both ways. Okay. So. okay. Not sure how that wizardry worked, but it does. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't that funny? Sometimes you're like, well, <laughs> cool. <laughs> it worked out for me. It works. Okay, right. so I'm just going to find the centers here on this bubble. I'm just going to mark it, I think. I think we will be listening to Bubble Butt after we're done with this. Game. I know. It's on my playlist. <laughs> uh, um. Selly or Seely says, Amber, I saw your IG stories that you clean foggy clear vinyl. How did you do it? I have an expensive one for a project and it isn't looking nice. Okay, so on my Instagram wall, there is a, I, I used to do a series called What You Know Wednesdays and I teach different bag making things. So there's one that's how to clear your foggy TPU. Okay. So it'll be on there. And I'm sure um, if you're on my YouTube talking, I wish they combined all the talking together. Right. That would be the best. But um, Alexis can prop launch well, sure or find it too. But um, to link that reel, it's a reel. Okay. But it's basically, you can use like alcohol wipes or alcohol. You can do soap and water. There's a few ways to clean that out. Yeah. I've heard Dawn, Dawn dish soap. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Um, that's but awesome. it's a bummer. I have found if you would get the glitter TPU that's printed, if it has the glitter, it won't it won't fall. I don't know why, but isn't that weird? It's so weird. So I usually only buy the glitter stuff now if I buy it. Okay. I'm just going for it. I'm basting this, right? Yep, that's all we're doing. Okay. Um, hi, Wendy. Uh, Rosemary Kasaya, is your fabric prism ship? No, it is Lux vinyl from Mormino called We Think. It is the seafoam green. I didn't even know I had it. I was I was going through a creative block <laughs> and I came down to my room and so I just started cleaning and like yeah, final rolls and 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 sure enough, I found this one. I'm like, oh, this is what I want to do. <laughs> totally helped. Okay. It was hidden. I don't know half the stuff I own anymore. Honestly, yeah, I always <laughs> shut stash. I'm like, mm. I know. It's almost ready. I need to almost do. Uh, Oh, a D stash? Uh, scrap boxes again. Yeah, I've got so much like zipper tape and elastic and stuff that I can't sell. And then all of my scraps just sitting in here. I did it once. It took a ton of work to like put the boxes together. Yeah. But people loved it and they totally used it all for projects. So yeah, and it cleaned my area out. I need to do that again. That's what I do. I do mystery boxes. Yep. Yeah, I need to do Okay, you had me freaking out about those corners. They weren't that hard. I did it. Yeah, no, they're, well, yep. yeah, they're not too bad. No, uh, I could see how that thickness would be an issue for people, though. I could yeah. see that. You just got to watch out for it. Yeah, because I didn't realize there would be binding. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There is a way to, like I said, they, she has a little yeah, butterfly. To do all that. So I would definitely recommend that if you're sewing on a lighter weight machine. Yeah. So do you see here how I have these little corners that pop up? I'm just going to cut those off. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm gonna cut them off too. As long as you're, as long as you're, you know, pulled out and it's even, you're fine. Okay. 
Okay. Okay. Oh, that's so cute. Yes. Now you could add another, you could add a, you know, in the future, if you want to add a split pocket on the other side, because that goes on yeah, side. On this side. Mm -hmm. Yep. Kind of customizable. For sure. Okay, I'm just going to trim down these corners. Oh, that's adorable. I love this middle, middle pocket, too. It's huge. It really is big. It's, it's whole so panel. big in there because it's that full panel. Yep. That's really cool. I love your zipper on the front. I need, I'm going to make one like that. Uh, I kind of, I kind of love the zipper. Yeah. Because yeah. it looks cool with these other zippers, too, you know? Yeah. I do have a pucker that's kind of, I need to just not let it bother me. Easier said than done, I know. I know. <laughs> I'm like, it's totally going to bother me, but that's okay. <laughs> oh, that's so cute. I love it. I like that I did all one. I was going to color block it. Yeah. I like that I just chose to do all one vinyl color. Okay. I think they both right. look amazing. Are we doing gusset next? Yep. Let me see my directions. I have next handle. I think we're building the handle. Okay. Are you using just webbing for your handle? No, I'm using, um, I'm going to do a double layer handle like this. I did like the black for the main color and then I did my accent a three quarter inch and a one inch. That's cute. Just to pull in this print. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I wonder if I should go get some black vinyl. That will look so and cute. And do the same thing. Do it. I do it. Right? It looks cool. And well, I gotta change my webbing out too, because to match the other stuff. Oh, what if we did a polka dot, polka dot webbing for the handle with the black under black webbing or, or I mean black vinyl under it or the turquoise vinyl under it? Mm, I need black. All right. Let me go figure out what length of piece I need. I'm going to cut that out real quick. Okay. So am I just, I'm just single folding it. So it just needs to be two inches wide, right? Yeah, I did one, two, and, oh, let's see. My handles, I did, um, sorry, let me find where it, where You're it, good. I did write this down. Double handle, I did an 18 by two and an 18 by one and a half. Okay. Two by two. Got it. Do you have your D-rings too? You'll need two one-inch D-rings. Yep, got them. Hardware's black though. All right. Now I'm gonna just trim off. I'm basically just trimming to be the actual liner panel. If you just trim off the top there. And I got a couple spots on the bottom here. 
I can't wait to check out your version, Jill, for the no binding method. That probably works way better. Jill is doing a circle bag challenge right now in her group. It's kind of amazing. I'd check it out. Okay. All right. So I did find this striped webbing too from Wonderground. I don't know which one I should use. Stripes over polka dots. Is that even? A I mean, I know. <laughs> I mean, I always do stripes. I love stripes so much. Okay. Salt. All right. Um, okay, my bubble's done. Bubble butt. Our bubble butts are done. She's bubblicious. Yes. Oh, my God. This is so cute. This, you know what I love about this? It's different from anything I've ever done. Yeah. I've never done a shape like this before. Me neither. It's great. I freaking love it. And you definitely do not need. You do not need. Don't waste your magnetic snap. You don't need it. Oh, you don't need it. That pocket is so tight. You don't need it. No. And I like that this is now, like, I did leave the space here. You can see I left the space a little pink poking through. See? And can you reach <laughs> it easier? Yeah. See? I think that's cute. Yeah, that works. Yeah, I like that. All right. Okay. And so I'm guessing the black vinyl we're turning in edges and then putting the webbing on top. Yep. Okay. And then we'll build the bottom panel. Oh. And then I got my D ring here. And then we need the zipper gusset pieces, right? Mm hmm. And your zipper. These it. two pieces and the zipper. Okay, beautiful. I love the sound of a magnetic snap. Patricia says, <laughs> "I do too." I would agree with that. Yeah. Yeah. I do too. I did it on the other ones, but if you're trying, I mean. It it really isn't necessary. <laughs> Tony says, Messiahs reminds me of the futuristic stuff the 50s put out, if that makes sense. I like it. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> In the future, but not. Okay, I'm just finding my centers. Oh, wait, are you doing your... Um, Zipper panel first, not your handle. No, okay. I'm doing my handle. I'm oh, you just, are. I'm folding. Um, I, my brain says oh. I, I need to draw the center line. My brain says it. Okay. Yeah. I did that real quick when I cut it over there. So. Yeah. All right. Some people are good at just folding it in. That's. No, I, no, I my I can't do that. I know I need oh. to know where the center is. <laughs> Yeah, same. Oh, wait. But now my webbing is the same size. I should have cut this. Wait. Okay. Is your webbing the same size? Is your webbing an inch? I don't have webbing. Oh. Okay, so you're doing that. So you just need to make your... You'll have to put your... I should have made... On top of your webbing. So make your vinyl one and a half inches wide. But then my, then what about my D rings? Then I would need to use bigger D rings. Your D ring should be one inch. Am I putting the D rings in between the webbing and the vinyl then? Do you know what I'm saying? Oh, is your webbing one and a half? No, my webbing's one. But if I make the bottom piece bigger, Am I putting the D ring in between these two pieces? Um, no. So what I would do is make your webbing your bottom piece and cut your vinyl to be one and a half inches wide. And that can be your top accent right here. So like this colored stuff would be your black and the black on the back would be your webbing. 
Oh, so make the vinyl the accent. Yeah. Okay. All right. So I just need to cut down the vinyl. Yep. Got it. Check. Thank you. Yep. So maybe just cut not much off, right? Like I do it a one and a half inches wide. Um, because okay. I'm basically making a three quarter inch. Yeah. On the top, and then okay. the bottom stays at one. Okay. There we go. I didn't need to make that so difficult. All right. I'm 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 really gonna like the stripe peeking out of it. I yeah, no, I, I think it's really great with it peeking out. Yeah. For sure. It's definitely on brand. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm going to go iron this little, because mine's woke, this waterproof matter. Okay. Okay, well, that's heating up. I'll finish folding in my. So I'm not using webbing at all for my handle. That's the difference. You're just using your materials. Yeah, I'm just using vinyl and then the waterproof canvas. Yeah, okay. All right. Beautiful. Jill's channel is um, Kite Co. Like the kite, like a kite you fly. Kite Co. creates. Okay. Annette, thank you for all the links on my channel. You're awesome. Alexis is my Annette. Yay. Yay. Alexis, you're awesome too. Thank you. <laughs> all of these amazing people who help out. They're so Honestly. Awesome. Yeah, they're amazing. Everyone's a gem. Mm -hmm. Okay. Iron this guy. All right, and then I need this. Okay, so now I'm going to take a piece of like quarter inch tape. Yep. And run it down this seam on my bigger piece. You could do it on your smaller piece. You're just going to put the seams together. Mm -hmm. Wrong sides together, basically. Okay. Got it. Try to make it centered. This vinyl was meant for this waterproof canvas. Wow, do they go good together. <laughs> That's awesome. It's a good combo. I love it when a combo comes together. I love it. It's my favorite. All right, and then I'm just going to top stitch down the skinnier of the two. Okay. Let's see. Yeah. 
now we have, uh, well, welcome, Millie. Millie is watching from South Africa. Wow. Hi, Millie. That's awesome. It's mind blowing. I It really is. <laughs> I know. I never get used to that. I know. I'm just like little old me over here, but my little box <laughs> sewing. <laughs> It's pretty cool. Okay. Well, there's my strap. Pretty and cute. Okay. Me too. Done. Thanks, Annette. That's Ooh, cute. That. Look at that little peeking out. That uh huh. And the variegated. Look at the variegated. Yay! <laughs> okay. So cute. Next. I'm going to wait to put on my poles. Yeah, me too. Yeah. But that's what we're doing. We're going to build the zipper gusset part. Then we'll build the bottom and then we'll attach the bottom to the top. Okay. Done. <clears throat> Nothing fancy about the zipper gusset, right? Just a normal zipper panel, I mean. Just a regular old zipper. Okay. Got it. You know what? Ever since we did the sewing the states at your house. Mm -hmm. I use the tape for all of my, <laughs> you don't, you don't, um, based it on like machine base it. No, never. I do it this way now. I, I just feel like it makes it better. It's faster. It, yeah. It stays in place. And you don't have to worry about it. Ripple. I hate the rippling zipper. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Agreed. Hi. Hi. How are you feeling? Okay, heating pad. It's not even that. I just, I don't know. Um, you look pale. I know. Pull me um, down, huh? That's cool. I'm good. You are? Okay. Did you take medicine? Yeah, no. It didn't help. Okay. But, uh, yeah, I'm in the shower window. Do you want me to call you out? No, it's okay. I need to go. Are you sure? Positive. All right. They're short classes. Okay. Take it easy, okay? Don't do anything crazy. You. I love you. Okay. Sorry about that. I don't know. Being a woman is hard sometimes. <laughs> Great. Uh, why is my zipper so long? What the fuck did I do? You know what? Mine's too long, too. Okay, then it's wrong. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. No. I think, uh, I yeah. was like, what the oh. heck, Amber? Mm -hmm. Embarrassing. <laughs> yep. Same, same. Cool. Well, it'll make it easier to trim down, I guess. Yeah. And put on the poles. Yeah. All right. Um, thank you, Annette. Bye. It's going to be a quarter inch for the zipper. Okay. Perfect. Because I would do that no matter what. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> I would adjust everything else to fit that anyways. <laughs> yeah. I just don't think three eighths of an inch is ever needed on around a zipper. It's just not for me. No, not for me either. All right. Southern California, it's raining. Raining. What the pee, Diddy? Uh -uh. Are we um, top stitching too? Yep. Okay. Beautiful. Um, you know what? I can't use that skinny foot. That skinny foot and me ain't friends. Mm -mm. <laughs> I can't get it to not make a wobbly stitch. Yeah. Uh, right. 
I wish I could. I, I don't I know. I don't know how people sew entire bags with their skinny feet. I don't. Me neither. I'm like impressed. Like I'm jealous. That's yeah. I can't do it. Badass. I can't do it though. I can do it for like one or two little things that I need done, but I can't sew a whole bag with it. No. My top stitch will go like, uh-huh. <laughs> Mine too. Oh, yep. It's great. I prefer it over the zipper foot if I have to get close, but yeah, I can't do the entire bag with it. Am I basting the layers together too? Yes, you will. And okay. I'm going to throw some foam. Well, don't base them yet because we got to add the handle on the big fat part and we'll need to fold the. You don't just sew it through all the layers. I mean, you could. I think I will. Okay. Just because I know that my, my lining is super light and yeah. I think can handle it. But if I was worried about thickness, I would do that. Yeah, Katie, this will be on our, oh, Paul already answered. Yeah, it'll be on both of our channels. Oh, yeah. We'll do part two next Friday, same time. Yep. Yes, yes, yes. Maybe we'll just have to start a series. So along with Amber and Kasaya. Oh my gosh, I'm here for it. <laughs> me too. That's a hell yes for me. Me too. That sounds fun to me. Me too. Watching from the hospital. Hi, Kathy. It's snowing where I live. But Northern Sweden. What? Crazy. I've never lived, I've only ever lived here where it does not. I know. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to make you visit Colorado in the snow. <laughs> and I, I but I want to see the turtles though. <laughs> the turtles, the you mean the frogs? The frogs, the, the frogs. The frogs, the frogs come out in the summer. I have a whole family of frogs that live under my front patio. Wild frogs, y'all. Wild frogs. I accidentally run over them sometimes. What, Kasaya? In the dark, yes. Oh. It I don't mean to. Uh oh, girl. Yes, there's frog guts on my driveway. I am just. The I... last couple years, though, I've had a snake that has been living in my front area that has been eating the frogs, I think. What? I'm not down with that. <laughs> <laughs> Luckily, like, yeah, all the snakes here are not poisonous, they're all just non-threatening and gross what they're all slithery and gross i mean yeah Ooh. they're disgusting Ooh. i am not a snake fan and i grew up in arizona yeah snakes Ooh. yeah okay. no thank you all right I would rather put together a zipper panel like this than a recessed zipper. Is that weird? No, I don't like re. I like. <laughs> I don't like making them. I hate making recessed zippers. I love the end result, but I hate making them for some reason. Yes, I. I, uh, I agree with you. <laughs> I would much rather do this any day. Yeah. I don't know why. It's not like it's much different. <laughs> yeah, it's not. <laughs> It's definitely, I don't, it's a mental thing, I guess. I, it is a mental thing. <laughs> Carol says, Kasaya has the whole ecosystem in her yard. I kind of do. I know, right? I'm like, it's the freaking jungle I, over there. I do. I've got coyotes in the field out back. We've got deer sometimes. We have wild turkeys. 
Oh my, I heard those are mean. Yeah, they are mean. You don't want to get near those. Mm. Those do come out though. It's kind of crazy. Tons of rabbits, tons of squirrels. Squirrels. A little bit of everything. I love squirrels now because of uh, Leslie. Leslie. <laughs> I'm still just like, eh, it's a squirrel. <laughs> I know, no, they're cute. They're so precious. They're cute. But I'm just like, I see squirrels all the time. I'm like, eh. I, I gotta be honest with you. I don't think I've ever seen a squirrel in real life. What? Yeah. They have squirrels in Vegas, don't they? Not where I've lived. Huh. Okay. Yeah, Susan, come to my house next week. Yes. I will take the day off. Did fun. you know that Susan has a desert tortoise that lives in her backyard? Did you know that? No, that's badass. He's really cool. And uh, he's their pet. His name is Leo. And Leo, they feed him and everything. It's the coolest thing. He'll come up to the door and like scratch at the door when he's hungry. Like a little puppy. Yeah, he's really cool. The, the wildest thing I have here is a hummingbird that takes a <laughs> bath in my fountain. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, Amber. Every now and then I have a bunny, but then we do have coyotes. I don't ever see them, but then the bunnies disappear and you just know. You just know what happens. <laughs> <laughs> well, you have scorpions and snakes. Blech. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that's gross. Some All right, are we, house, what are we doing? So are you putting your poles on? Yep. Okay. All right. He's 50 years old, Susan says. Oh my for gosh. That's like a commitment. That's a that's a lifelong partner right there. Yep. They got him from another family. Oh. Uh, and yeah, they just found out he's like 50 years old. He's the coolest looking dude. I had a turtle growing up. It was, a, but it was like in a, an aquarium. Uh huh. We call that turtle Sally. <laughs> we painted the nails and everything. You could paint their little claws. That's funny. Yeah, and then the for somehow the shell got cracked. I think like uh -oh. she escaped somehow. So we had to take her to the vet, and they're like, "Well, your Sally's a sow." Like, <laughs> okay. Well, didn't know. <laughs> That's funny. Well, I mean, how do you even tell on a turtle? No freaking clue. Yeah, Susan, do you really know it's a boy? How do you even know? Iguanas, that'd be cool. My brother had iguanas. He had a big, huge one. That just like, it just roamed around their house. It was kind of creepy. Oh my goodness. No, thanks. Mm -mm. Thank you. No, thank you. All right. Get your handle. First. Okay. Get your handle. Yep. Put your put your D rings on there so we don't forget. Okay. How far? Like, what's our placement on the oh. panel? Okay. So this. Let me get my notes here. We are going to put it three. Also, uh, on the larger edge, on the larger. <laughs> I'm yeah, put my lining out of the way. It's three eighths of an inch from that folded edge by the zipper. Okay. And that's where you place it. Okay. And then you make a mark on your handle. You can make it at one inch and at four and a quarter. Okay. And essentially, you'll just sew a box in the. But you're going to slide your, let me see here, slide your, your D-ring down here. Essentially, you're supposed to put your D-ring underneath that one inch box between the edge, but that's when it mm -hmm. hits the bone. So mm -hmm. I just start it. We'll sew this. This is what we're going to do. We're going to sew this box cross on the one inch line. Then we'll pop this D-ring down. 
and then you can just start again, you know, kind of close and go down to four and a quarter. Okay. Four and a quarter from the edge or from that one inch line? From the edge. Okay. She had it at five and something, but the, this is the problem I see with it. It kind of folds it in. Do you see how it kind of folds this in? Yeah. I feel like it goes too high. It needs to come down a little. Okay. I see what you're so, saying. It kind of flattens it and I want it more round. So, Got it. I thought, well, four and a quarter. That's what I'm going to try. Let's do it. I will do what you say. Okay. Everybody's talking about their, their pets now. I know. It's so fun to talk about. <laughs> um, uh, Susan says, we had a reptile person take a good guess. She seemed pretty sure. So we'll go with it. <laughs> okay. Sounds good. Sounds good. Just an inch up, huh? Just to hold that V ring above it, yeah. Mm hmm. And then you can make another box. So I'm so you, you could sew on your, I'm sewing on the outside of the accent. Yep. That's what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you just get as close as you can to this D-ring, yeah? Yeah, just to hold it in there so it could rotate a little. Yeah. All right, I'm going to put just a little piece of tape under there. Yeah, that would be helpful. So it doesn't. Mm -hmm. I will follow suit. Okay. I guess this part is where the skinny foot would come in handy if you really wanted to get close to that earring. Yeah. But it doesn't have to be crazy close, right? No, it just has to hold it in. I think I have like an inch between uh, the bottom box we sewed and the top box I'm sewing. Okay. I am going to pull personally my thread tails to the back Okay. on this second part because it's mine are totally blended in with the stripes. So you can't even tell. So I'm not going to worry. Oh, about that's it. perfect. Yeah. Yeah. Now you can add some really cool rivets or some kind of decoration here if you wanted. Yeah. Rivets is an option. Okay. It's not a necessary, you know. Yeah. That looks cute. I mean, my, I don't think I need rivets. That rainbow thread just provides such a cute little look how cute like, candy. I love that. That's really cute. I think I'm just gonna leave it like that. Maybe yeah. I mean I could add a rivet. I don't know. Or I could just sew a second line. Yep. Decorative stitching. I think I'm just gonna sew a second line across um on each thing instead of a rivet because it just looks pretty. Yep. Hi, Evelyn.
Oh yeah, that's cute with just a second line. Yeah. And then make sure your your D rings on when you for the other side. Yeah. And you do butt up that short end. You want, the, you want the lump for the, you know, your handle. It's self-explanatory, but just in case somebody forgets. Yeah. Got it. Are you going to put rivets in yours? Oh, you know, I'm thinking about being extra AF and putting heart Chicago screws. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? <laughs> I mean, it would look cute. It would look cute. You should do it. <laughs> I'm like, That's funny. I'm like, mm. <laughs> do it. Yeah, I think I need to at this point. Yeah, I think so. Why not? I put it into the universe. <laughs> Hi, Maria. Brittany's here. Hi, Brittany. Brittany with the links. She's taking over. <laughs> <for him. laughs> Tag team. Tag team. Pull that down, put a piece of tape. Oh my gosh, I've had so many clips break during this video. Have you? Yeah, maybe. All that coffee you drank. Uh, <laughs> it probably is. <laughs> <laughs> I'm feeling that, man. Woo! Yeah. It was good, though. Yeah. <laughs> what was it maybe, called? What kind of cold brew? Chocolate? Uh, uh, chocolate. Chocolate cream cold brew. Was that what it was called? Um, yeah, yes. And I got a large, like the venti. So, ginormous sized. I'll have to go down in size. I drank the entire thing. So, <laughs> <laughs> I thought I need to have energy for this video. Yeah. <laughs> I was so close to getting a coffee drink myself. Yeah. And I was good. I usually have a Nespresso. I have a Nespresso machine. I usually have one in the morning. I didn't have one this morning because I knew I was getting Starbucks. So I want to get one of those. Oh, my kids got one for me for Christmas and best gift ever. You know, I asked for it for my birthday. Oh, when's your birthday? April 20th. Okay, it's coming up. Well, yeah, that's Maybe you'll get it. Maybe. Maybe. We'll see. My, my husband makes practical gifts, and I'm just like, we are we are yin and yang. I'm like, yeah. ah, it's a gift. You get crazy things. Yeah, give me something that I won't buy for myself. Exactly. Yeah. My my birthday's coming up, too. When, you're in May? May, May 5th. Yeah. Smile. You know, this is wild, because my best, best friend growing up, her birthday uh -huh. was May 5th. Really? And, yeah. Our personalities get along great together. Ah, that it must it's be a thing. thing. It must be a thing. It's a thing. Uh, so your birthday is four twenty. Yes. Um, that's the same birthday as my dog Oakley. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take it. Yeah. <laughs> it's a good birthday. It's a good it day. Is. <laughs> Obviously, it's very much celebrated here in Colorado. They have so many 420 things. I'm like, oh, oh my goodness. gosh, me too. And I'm just not, that's no. not me. So I'm just no, like, no, me oh. either. My husband says, this birthday is wasted on you. I'm like, well, <laughs> yep. <laughs> you're right. It is. <laughs> yeah. I think I'm going to do a downtown taco and margarita crawl for my birthday. Oh, my goodness. Does I think that it's sound like what? Yeah, sounds good. I'm about to whoop my brother in some cornhole. That's what I'm doing. Oh, hey. I love cornhole. Mm -hmm. Nothing wrong with that. 
There she is. She's a. Uh... Are you done already? Oh. I didn't. I didn't make a. I'll get the ribbons. I'll do the ribbons. I'm like you're beating me. It's a rare occasion. <laughs> Okay, these are all ringed. Oh, they did those second rows of stitching. Oh, yes. The accent. Mm hmm Oh, there I think I'm running out of rivets. Let's see. Yeah, I'll just do one rivet, I think. I don't think I I carry Chicago screws on my website. I don't know if I've ever used a Chicago screw. They're nice. They're they? cute. I like that they come in different like designs and stuff. I think it's adorable. Yeah. I use this tool from Leslie so freaking much. Oh my gosh. It is my favorite. That template. Yeah. Yep. I use it to do all my straps and rivets. Mm-hmm. It's my favorite. I use it. Oh, here, this is what it looks like for everyone. This one? Mm-hmm. Yep. It has like three holes in it. It's perfect. Yep. It's the best. Because then I don't even have to think. Yeah. You just mark and do it. Okay, now I'm done. Variegated thread was a good choice. It just adds the tiniest pop of color for this bag. So good. You should take yeah. it to California. Yeah, it's pretty cute. I may end up keeping it. I don't need it. Right. Oh man. Nope. Do you carry a bag like a daily? Like if you're gonna run around the. Uh, yeah, I carry the Louis waist bag. Do ya? Yep. That's all, that's all I use. I don't carry a bag. I don't know why. Well, lately I have this little um card holder with a uh, wrist thing on it and I clip my car key on it and I just grab that and my phone. And I don't even carry a bag, but I always keep a Louis waste bag in my car if I need it. Yeah. That's all I do. I It's great. Unless I'm traveling, obviously. I need a bag to travel. Yeah. Or like going out for a few hours or whatever, but yeah, just running around. I don't carry much. Um, Evelyn, it is from, uh, let's see. Oh, it's this one, Brittany. It's the strap template. Oh yeah. The rivet, the strap template. Yeah. Yeah. That's what it's called, right? I don't think it has any. I'm going to be honest. I'm a horrible friend. I don't know the name of it. I I just, it's just the strap template. Yeah. I don't I think it. so. You know what? I interfaced. My pocket pieces, should I have not done that? Is that gonna be too hard? I don't think so. Okay. Because we're doing our a little pocket. heart rivet. You can't see Let's that. See it. Oh, I can see it. That's really cute. So that fun. vinyl is just so pretty. It's it's like a per it looks silver or gray, but it's really nice. No, it's really pretty. It's a goodie. <sighs> Okay. I'm almost there. I'm just putting on my. You're basically just going to put your pockets right sides together with that three eighth of an inch. Okay. And then you base that onto the side gusset. And the wider piece is the top of the pocket, yeah? Yeah. Okay. Pocket pieces, lining, exterior, wider part at the top. Yep. Yeah, I, I Decaville light my pocket and my side gusset piece. I'm like, ooh, I don't know if the pocket needed it, but. Uh, sorry. 
I got to be honest with you. The pockets are really small, right? Too small. Like, I don't know what you can put in there. Can you even fit, a, can you even fit your phone in it? You can't. Yeah, let me put that. Hold on. My glue's drying. Let me. You know, you could make wider pockets. You could make like, uh, so they come out more, right? Yeah, I made mine taller. You made yours taller? I did make it taller, but Why I didn't should make it wider. I'm sorry? Why didn't you tell me these things? I should have told you these things, but to be honest with you, I just cut it. Like, <laughs> I, <know>. <laughs> I, <know. laughs> I just teased you. I was in court. I was like, ah. Uh, uh. <laughs> I was literally like texting you, like, I gotta go brush my teeth. <laughs> I know, I know. Uh, 10 minutes before, like, oh! Uh, <laughs> I woke up at 6 a.m. to shower. <laughs> wow, that's, that's. It's gross. It's the only time today I'm gonna have for a shower. So I'm like, all right, well. <laughs> so this is the side pocket. Can we put it? You can put your can phone. You? What size phone do you have? This this is a big one. The this big is one? a Pro Max something. Eight, okay, know. that's what I have. So yeah, so that's, well, that's that. Good. It can fit. It can yeah. fit. Yeah. Okay. It's probably more for chapstick though. Yeah, keys, chapstick. Mm -hmm. Okay. You could totally yeah you could mod modify that to make it bigger. Yeah. Which I think I would do if I were to make this again. Get my guys. Well, I think my bobbin's getting low. I hear clinking. Yeah, I just thought, man, we need to. Okay, so Michelle asks, when I'm in court, how hard is it not to think about sewing? <laughs> well, let me tell you what. It's it's usually the craziest stuff you've ever heard that people are doing. That it's pretty entertaining. Yeah, I'm like, I'm sure. You're Pretty dang uh, busy concentrating on what you're doing. Yeah, I do have to concentrate. But I will say after, I've been working with my judge for <clears throat> probably this judge like five years. So I have kind of memorized what she says. Huh. I've written it so many times. Really? Yeah, so sometimes I'll just keep writing. She won't even have said the words yet. Oh my gosh, that's funny. But it's muscle memory, so I don't have to concentrate too much. Yeah. But I do I do try to pay attention. I <laughs> try to because otherwise I'll be like, wait, what are we doing? <laughs> so we're gonna sew these with a three eighth inch on the top. Okay. For your pockets, you know, right sides together. Mm -hmm. And then I I went ahead and just basted the two layers together after I top stitched, yeah. Yep. Okay. And then we're going to attach them to the base. Okay. I don't think I've ever used such a silky waterproof canvas. Really? It's like silky. It's crazy. It's huh. pretty, pretty cool feeling. Um, wait, do we attach these to those bottom side gusset pieces first? Yeah. Okay. That's what we'll at the base. So I wasn't sure. I'm like, wait. First we put them on that and then we'll attach then, those to yeah. the yeah. And okay. then we can attach, you know, the other yeah. This too. So Yeah. Okay. It's all three eighth inch. So. Okay. Perfect. Did you do Decaville heavy on your base? I did. Is did that you... going to be an issue? No, that's what I did. But this okay. time I decided to sew it on too. Oh, I want to do that. Yeah, especially because you're cool thread. I would do that. And yeah. it just helps it stay in place once we turn it. Okay, I'll do that. All right, cool, cool. I'm going to do that real quick before I forget. Did you just do a box stitch around it? Yeah. Okay. Just something to hold it down because it kind of got 
rumpled up on my last one because <clears throat> I didn't do that and I was like I knew better. I usually I usually do, yeah. I just I like the look of it too. Me too. If you're gonna add purse feet, add purse feet now. If you're a purse feet person. Yeah, no, not to this one. No. I think this one's a little hard for purse feet for those that like it because this this front here it, uh -huh. touches, it touches anyways, you know. Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. Let's see. I just got off a jury trial that lasted two months. I have mad respect for court reporters now. Well, yeah. Ooh, two months? My longest trial was a year. <clears throat> wow. A yeah, we year long the, trial? Yeah, we used the whole team for that one. Holy cow. Yeah. That was a good one. Was that it? was one of those uh, motorcycle club ones. Oh, dang. Very um, Sons of Anarchy. Wow. That's in real life. The stuff you probably hear. Like. Yeah, I'm a fun date. Let me tell you what. <laughs> That's so funny. <sighs> okay. Base done. Thanks for reminding me. I'm going to check my bobbin real quick. Okay. Ginger asks, is this a hard bag to make? Schmedium. Schmedium. Schmedium hard. Yeah. Uh, so far, I feel like it's all very doable. I don't, I don't feel like it's hard so far. No, I think that it's just really knowing your machine and its limits and your material choices. There you go. Which I mean can be said for any pattern, really. Yep. All right, I'm going to put in a new bobbin. Too thick. I hate it when it overwinds it. Yeah. I mean, I don't feel like there was a ton of pieces, actually, guys. I, it, it was fairly easy to cut out. Yeah. I mean, I went ahead and prepped interfacing pieces for all of it. I cut out the pattern twice and did interfacing pieces with it. And it went pretty quick for me. Michelle asked, have we had any other hobbies? Oh, I've had so many hobbies, guys. <laughs> Ask my sister. I like, I, I like to do a little bit of everything. Yeah. Um, I used to scrapbook. Yep. I scrapbooked majorly. Um, I like to crochet. I like to macrame. <laughs> I just started crocheting. Uh-huh. Because I need something to do at work. I can't sneak a sewing machine in there. I've tried to figure out how I could do it, and I just can't. Uh-huh. So. I'm, I'm confused on how we're doing these pocket and side pieces. Okay, I'm kind of... All right. Oh, am I? I'm attaching the pockets just to the exterior first. Yeah. Got it. Okay. So you will probably cut your interior gusset on the bottom in three pieces, right? Yeah. Did you do different? I just did one because I didn't understand the point of three. I was wondering uh, as I was cutting it out too. I'm like, why? Probably. Yeah. It's probably just to hide this raw edge of the pocket. Yeah. So right? if you, yeah, if you, I, I cut my interior. So we're talking about the lining that goes on the bottom of this gusset and she has it in three pieces, but I just cut one at 22 and a quarter long by four and three quarters wide. So are did, you, are you doing a finished edge on your pocket then on the bottom? You Are you sewing both the top and the bottom? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You'll do yeah. it. Let me let me base this little pocket on yeah. here. Yeah. So you're sewing top and bottom of the pocket and then sewing the pocket directly onto that. In, in the instructions, she doesn't actually have you attaching that liner. She just has you sew it in three pieces and have one big piece. 
in the directions. Ah. Yeah, so that's why I was like, you don't really need it to be in the seams and covering stuff. Let me get it for you. I'll show you the picture real quick. Okay. I think I get it. I, I totally get how you're modding it. I get that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, these are teeny pockets, guys. Yeah, they're they're very tiny. Oh, these are babies. I kind of wanted to Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> so little. Oh my gosh. That's so tiny. Yeah. That's I'm like it's more for chapstick. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah. Next time I would make that wider and taller. Yeah. I'm getting the picture for you here. Okay. All right. Here it is. So this is essentially what we're building. So you can see mm -hmm. she has you build it separately. So both sides to the bottom for the liner and then sew both sides to the bottom for the exterior. Oh. And then those will be your, you know, right side yeah. here, here like that to make that sandwich. Oh. You can just yeah. make it one. Yeah, you can. I get That's what you're saying. Maybe sunglasses. I don't know though. It's kind of. I don't know, guys. It's once it's sewn on and it's bended. There's not going to be much that fits in there. I would definitely increase your V if you want it more poofy. Yep. Make it. So right now, it's only like this. So I would definitely go wider like that if you want this poking out more. Yeah. I get what you're saying. I thought, you know, then we sewed this on and then, yeah, I get what yeah. you're saying. So this just gets sewn onto the base and then the other piece gets made. And yeah, I, yeah, it would be easier to do it all in one piece. I think so. Yeah. And I was thinking when I was testing this for her, I was trying to explain to her, she didn't end up changing it, but it, it reduces the bulk in that seam because then you don't have. Yeah. Yeah. You don't have as many seams that you're worried about. Folding into the binding, you know? Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Well, next time. Yep. I know what I would change next time now. And I'm sewing these pieces all together at that same seam allowance, right? Yeah. Okay. And am I folding and top stitching? Yeah. Okay. Do you fold towards your, what does she have you do in the pattern? Does Let me see. I can't remember. Uh, I think she fold towards the bottom. The bottom. Yeah. Okay. You're going to top stitch on the bottom. Okay. Oh, sunglasses stick out. Someone tried sunglasses. Yeah, we like the big pockets. Big bubble butts and big pockets. The way of life. All right. So on the part just to show the, the people's watching. Yes. This is my pocket. So mm -hmm. my base, right sides together, the opening of the pocket pointing towards the other side, okay? Like that. And then that's what you'll attach, three eighths of an inch. Oh, so you're doing, you're doing this in three parts still, but you did the lining in one piece. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. yeah. I was saying that you could probably do this all in one piece and just sew your pocket top and bottom, flip it, top stitch it to the panel, right? Oh, yeah. Like you could do this in all one piece too. Yeah, you could. Yeah. You really could. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because it would be way less. Yeah, the seam would be better. Uh-huh. Um, anyone going to make the Aaron apron by Lynn's handmade? Oh, I just got a kit from Wonderground for that. I made one. Yes, you did. And it was adorable. And after I saw you make it, I'm like, I want to make one. Hi. <laughs> I'll be so cute. Uh, <laughs> so cute. 
it's so easy too. It's so yeah. easy. My daughter's going to cosmetology school right now, so I want to make her one. Oh, that would be so perfect. Yep. So Aaron, Leslie's or Lindsay's husband, she he said that the other option is comfortable when you have the little back, mm -hmm. the little back part. So that's yeah. his favorite. He said it's the most comfortable. So that's probably would be a good way for. Yeah, that's probably the style I would make Anna's. Yeah, since she'll be standing. And then I could embroider her little initials on it or something. Oh, stop. Mm -hmm. That's so cute. Yeah. Really do want to do that. Maybe when she graduates, I'll make one for her. So at this seam right here, yeah, um, for the bottom, I'm going to just cut off a little of this. Mm. Because of the bulk, you know? Yep. Okay. Just a little. Okay. Me too, me too. Yeah. It'll just make it a little easier. Okay. Maria says, I like how the three pieces give the gusset its structure and adds to the shape of the bag. Yeah, that might be true too. I think there's, you know, yeah, always multiple ways you can do a bag, guys. But there probably is a reason for the three pieces. But for the lining, yeah, it doesn't really need to be in three pieces. No, it just adds that extra bulk for that seam. Uh huh. So, it's not a lot of bulk. It's just some way to cut it down. Yeah. Would the bag be as cute without the side pocket? Yeah, you could. You don't have oh, yeah. a side pocket, right? Let's be honest. The feature is the bubble. Yeah. For reals. So you can totally mm -hmm. don't even have your time. Yep. Agreed. Cut off this here. And it's got lots of other pockets. Yeah. So and like I'm gonna add a zipper pocket on the back. Like uh like this. So yeah, that's so cute. You know. Okay, and now I just want to sew my lining together the same way, yeah? Yeah. Okay. Let me triple well, check my seam allowance. For you. I did my linings the wrong way. <laughs> the hearts are different directions. Oh, well. <laughs> oh, well. I tried. Should I top stitch my lining seam or am I butterflying it? I would butterfly it open. Yeah. It, it's an extra um, bulk, right? Hi, Julie. I'm glad you're safe after an earthquake. We get those here too. Oh, wow. Well, I hope you're safe. I'm nope. assuming you are since you're watching YouTube. See, we got snow, but we don't get an earthquakes. Yeah, they're wild. They are wild when they're pretty big. I could do without those. Those and hurricanes. No, thank you. Tornadoes. No, thank you. No, thank you. I would. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. So now your little pocket seas are like this. See? Boop, boop. <laughs> they're just babies. Just a little one. No ones. So how much height and width did you add to your pockets? So I didn't add any width, but I added a, let me get my piece. I think a half inch. A half inch, oh. okay. Here, the difference. So this is per the pattern piece height here. 
And then this is when I changed it and raised it. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. So not a ton, just a little bit. Yeah, but I did see, this is why I moved this D-ring up to above the one inch mark because uh -huh. now when it folds down, see it was folding down and it was hitting my... Yeah. Like if your screen is right there. Uh-huh, yep, that makes sense. Okay. <clears throat> we got to right where we wanted to get to today. Right on time. Yay! Is this is this where we were gonna like are we yep. putting on the gusset? We were gonna complete the gusset ring. Okay. And, then, and we'll be done next week. We can do the inside um flip pocket. Okay. And we can do the back zipper pocket. Yeah, I think I'm going to add, I'm going to prep and add a back zipper pocket to mine. Yeah, I like it. It's nice yeah. to on, you know. Uh-huh. I'm going to do that. All right. All right. So I just want to put this together now. Yeah. Okay. That'll be your zipper sandwich with your. Okay. And it's a three eighth inch seam allowance again. Like, make sure your D ring is up yeah, and out of the way. That's... Yeah. Oh yeah, if you make that pocket taller, it's gonna get in the way of this. So you have to be careful, right? Yeah, and you definitely should add, I would probably, probably maybe do like a half inch. Maybe. Okay. I don't know. I'll try it next time. Okay. Oh, hi, doggies. Hi. Hi. Okay, so after you make that sandwich, you might want to trim a little off of this seam here. Okay. Because this will add, it'll reduce the bulk a little bit. Off the corners of it? Yeah, so it's more like a little, okay. Okay. And then fold down everything in top stitch. Okay. I mean, I think this is going together pretty smoothly. Yeah, it, it really is. Yeah. The most challenging part of this bag is just binding and attaching the front bubble to the gusset in my opinion. Yeah, I could see that. All right, and then, oh, trim this. And top stitch. Okay. This is long. <laughs> yeah. Like knocking everything off my table here. All right. Got it. And then we'll baste these bottom pieces together at the end, right? Yeah, that, I like to find the centers and then baste it or, you know, okay. whichever mm -hmm. way to do it. And then um, I'm going to throw some foam in mine just because I'm a glutton for punishment. <laughs> oh, oh, my. <laughs> but, you're extra. Huh? You're just extra. I am. <laughs> Aren't we all? Yeah. Oh, okay. It's true. <laughs> well, 
Well, did you add foam up in your zipper panel pieces too? Um, I'm going to. I didn't space them yet. Mm, okay. Yeah. I really want to just see if I... I'm just curious because I the front is basically waterproof canvas so yeah i wasn't sure right i did cut out the foam pieces just to see okay can you embroider on it um oh. delia can you embroider on what the canvas you if you i would say if you want to add an embroidery on this front flap the flat piece is where I would put your embroidery. Yeah, that would be cute. Mm -hmm. You could do cute stuff on the pockets on the side. Uh-huh. Bye, Rose. Have a good day. We'll see you this weekend. I thought I was doing this wrong for a second. I'm like, oh, no. No, I'm doing it. All right. Okay. There's a Hurricane Leslie on the list this year. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Leslie, why are you bringing hurricanes? Dang, girl. Calm down. <laughs> <laughs> Chill out. <laughs> oh, it's funny. Funny, not funny. Yeah. Okay, I need a trim. This bulk here. Okay. Oh, I just had a heart attack. I thought I forgot to add my zipper poles. I don't even know why my brain said Oh that. my gosh. <laughs> that would be so sad. My brain's like, no! No! <laughs> we're good. We're good. We're good. I'm like, no, you did, because I added mine when you did. <laughs> yeah, we're good. We're good. We're good. All right. Now I just need to base my layers together. Yeah, base rings closed. I'm going to add some foam here. Okay. I am not. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to see if these are the right measurements. I will not be doing that, but go for it. 20 and a half by four. If you're slipping it in the bottom here in between the layers. Okay. I'm not attaching it. I'm literally just going to baste it in there. Yeah. Hi, BJ. Now be careful when you're when you're basting around your thing. Make sure your pockets are smushed so you don't have a wrinkle from your pocket getting mm -hmm. clean. Okay. Ask me how I know that one. <laughs> <laughs> we speak from experience usually. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. So yeah, it's 20 and a half by four for this bottom foam, if you want to add a foam. Okay. Now you would recommend foam and some kind of decaville in the bottom, correct? If Not you like the foam. If you like a structured bag. Yes. Who if, doesn't? If you don't, then don't worry about this, but it's nice. I just have Decaville heavy in the bottom of mine, but I'm also using, I don't know. I, I think it'll be okay. It'll be fine. Yeah. You do need some kind of stabilizer is what I'm trying to say. Because For sure. Yeah. Always on the bottom gonna, of the You're going to have a little soggy diaper ass. You don't want that. <laughs> <laughs> no, nobody wants that. Nobody wants that. Okay. No. No. <laughs> Soggy bubble butt. Oh, man. <laughs> Kasaya, I told my hubby if he makes me mad one more time, I'm going to Colorado to Kasaya. Come on over, BJ. Let's do it. <laughs> Come have a party. That's funny. 
Margarita night at Kasai's house. That's right. Let's do it. Okay. I have extra beds. Now this skinnier piece is 15 by 0.75 for this small. Although I find if you want to skip anything, you don't really need foam in this top skinnier panel on your zipper because the binding with the four corners from those side zipper pockets, it mm -hmm. kind of makes it pretty sturdy right there. So you don't need mm -hmm. much. And it doesn't fold over or anything. So Yeah, I think the binding would give it that extra structure mm -hmm. you need, huh? Yeah. Okay. All right, I am going to baste my layers. Okay. The other side I have is 15 by two for this back one. This is pretty big. Yeah, it's bigger than you think, honestly. Like, it's, yeah, it's a good size bag. Okay. Yeah, it definitely would make an amazing camera bag, to be honest with you. Yeah, I would think so. How tall is it? I don't even know how tall it is. I don't know. Here, the measurements are. I have it right here. I think yes. Uh, ten and a half by twelve by six and a quarter. It's pretty big. Yeah. It's a good size bag, guys. Like twelve inches tall. Honestly, yeah, that's pretty big. Let me throw this in here and then I'm Paula says, I wanted to say kudos to Missy for doing so well on getting those orders orders taken care of. Ah, thanks. I'll tell her. She's out there right now. Working away. I just got hardware restock. Not I haven't restocked it yet, but like 20 boxes of hardware restock. I don't know if you understand how much that is. It's a oh my gosh. My friend Jessica gets it at her house and she organizes it and does quality check on it for me. Uh -huh. It's so much work. But I'm getting a couple of new things in, so it should be fun. Can't wait. There's one side. Um, Michelle, yes, I am getting more. I'm just doing neutral packs, though. I'm not restocking any colors yet, but I am doing neutral packs. other yeah i'm telling you we are pretty even in our face yeah just my cute little i love that i love the handle with yeah. the little boo behind it that's so good and the variegated thread was a good choice it just adds that little pop that we need all right there are my pieces Oh, I'm excited. Yeah, it's, it's amazing. So I'll prep a zipper pocket for the back of my Yeah, I have a, um, you need it. If you want to make it up and down like I did instead of across it, I mean, either way would work, but I think I did a seven inch zipper. 
helpful. Okay. Yeah, I think I'll do it up and down like you did. Yeah. I have Decaville on mine. Ugh. Are you just doing a raw edge though? I will be able to because I have waterproof canvas. Oh, that's right. If I had vinyl, I would. Even if there's Decaville already on it? Yeah, that's what okay. I did on You can't tell. You can't tell? Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. then I'll just do a raw edge. Yeah, it's easier. All right, I'll cut that out for next time and have that prepped. And then I'll do the pack for the strap that you have. Yeah. I'll post it in my stories and tag you too for the measurements for the last things we'll need, like the strap. Okay, and okay perfect. So y'all can have it. Yay. Uh, going yeah. with us. Everybody watching, if you want to get as far as we did today and then get that done, you can join us next Friday and sew along with us and finish the bag. Yep. Yep. We're almost done, really. We got to do the inside pocket, the slip mm -hmm. pocket. Um, Jennifer, next sew along to finish this bag will be next Friday, same time. Same place, same time. Um, and I think we'll maybe do this again. Yeah. <laughs> Amber wants to. <laughs> I always want to. The answer is always yes. Okay. <laughs> Perfect. I like that Amber is telling me what to do. That's a change for me. I kind of really enjoy it. Yeah. <laughs> it's nice to be taught and not have to teach, actually. Yeah. Uh -huh. I, I can see that. Okay. Yeah. Does it ring? There we go. And then we have our bubble prepped. Where is my bubble? Butt? Where's your bubble butt? Oops. Oh. Up. There we go. Yay. Yay. <laughs> this is so cute. I'm not going to want to sell this. Yeah, that one's really oh, cute. Man. I recommend I, the waterproof canvas. That's actually really nice. I wasn't sure. I'm like, ah. For the outside? Yeah, it's good. Yeah. It's really good. I think the next one I do, I'll probably do canvas with vinyl mix like you're doing on that one. Yeah. I like that a lot. It's my favorite way so far. Okay. Good to know. All right, you guys. Thank you, everybody, for watching. This will be on repeat if you need to come back and watch to make your bag. And join us next Friday, 930. We'll Mountain be there. Right? It's mountain time. Mountain time. I'm I don't know what everybody else's times are. <laughs> so if you ask me, I don't know. <laughs> so 8, 830 Pacific, 930 Mountain. 10.30 Central and 11.30 Eastern. There you go. Okay. Thank you, Amber. Yeah. <laughs> My brain's like, I think I can do it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Bye, Happy everybody.